You guys ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. Suka! So. Suka! <laughs> Nick, you're clearly back. Yes, I am. <laughs> Last time you weren't here. I wasn't. You were uh, off collecting a bounty. Bounty. How did it go? <laughs> <laughs> it was, that it good, was, huh? Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> got the black lung. He's got the mm. black lung. I mean, I had it before, but I got it. And then it went away, but it's back. He fell into a pit of despair. I fell into a pit of despair. (laughs) despair. (laughs) Well, we're glad to have you back. Yeah. So are you guys ready to do this thing? Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's do do it and start it out. Ready? Yeah. And... Welcome back to Stay on Target, a show about all things, but mostly Star Wars things. Yes. Welcome back, Nick. Yes, thank yeah. you. It's good Welcome to be back. Welcome back, Dustin. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, of course I'm Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it's already and, uh, funny. We're already having a good time here, yeah, yeah. ready to talk about Star Wars oh, and all yeah. things yeah. Star Wars. Let's do and it. And all things, but mostly Star Wars. So yeah. to kick it off, let's just jump right into it, eh? Yes. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> we even have a name of this first segment now. Yeah. I can bring you in warm or I can bring you in cold. Production value. Production value. Oh, yeah. Production. And right off the top, the first thing we're jumping into is, of course, we watched again chapter three, chapter three. of yeah. The Mandalorian. Oh, the my. Sin. The Sin. Yeah. The Sin. Yeah. Wow. That w- <laughs> They just, once what again, are we at? We're like uh, t- out of ten. I think we're we're at like we're at eleven 12? out of ten. But now it's twelve. Uh, now we're at a twelve out of 12 ten. Out of, yeah. Twelve out of ten. <laughs> How many episodes are there left? Oh, I have no idea. idea. Six maybe. Five. Five? Six thousand. I thought maybe? there was only gonna be about six episodes. I think I read maybe eight. Because uh, maybe eight. I think there's one. At, well, how many maybe weeks? How many episodes? Or er, how many weeks until <laughs> the rise of Skywalker? Four. four. Yeah, and four. so I think there's only uh, one episode after. Yes. One or two episodes after the Rise there's of Skywalker. There's one episode after the Rise of Skywalker. Oh, okay. I know so that. that's okay. so that's five weeks, right? Five weeks left. Five, five probably five episodes, episodes left. Chapters left. Okay, so that chapters. would make it. There's been three, eight. so eight. Yeah. yeah. So eight. Seven yeah. or eight. Yeah. yeah. So basically what I was getting at was if we do some basic math, each episode what? gets better. <laughs> if we do some geometry here. What is this? Oh. Math class? <laughs> it's one hundred. There's five episodes left. So this one is a 95. Next week will probably be a 96, 97. Yep. Yeah. By the end, it'll just be a 100 out of 100. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, this episode Do we leveled just skip up. How yeah. we, how it we always rate? levels out of 10, up. Like, you went to 100? Or I'm out of 100. Yeah, I'm out of 100. Because <laughs> it's, it's gotten that good. It's 9 12 point out of something it's now. I yeah, mean, it's like, you're right. Yeah. It was 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, or 11 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. And once again, it it just doesn't disappoint. No. I don't know how they're going to just keep topping themselves. <laughs> But they always do. Yeah. And it's, oh my gosh. <laughs> the show is great. I, we're, I completely agree. <laughs> we're so hyped up. Oh my gosh. The, the time where you see us sit down on the couch and we're like, yeah. You'll know that's it let us down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I don't we're think just, that's ever going to happen. We're just exhaustedly oh, tired. Sigh. That's true. Or that, yeah. yeah. That's why we did this. Or we all have the later. black lung. <laughs> yeah. We're all, the black lung. <laughs> we're all sick trying to do a podcast. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Dustin, look at the camera. I am looking at the camera. <laughs> I am the camera. Oh, man. So reactions uh, yeah. and thoughts, we definitely reacted oh, yeah. in the best way. We, we were so excited. We loved it. Yeah, we're going to go into spoiler talk. So if yeah. you haven't seen it yet, yeah. skip this Stop watching video. right now. Go watch it. <laughs> we now. are going to subscribe. Now. We are going to go on to different really don't topics. Subscribe. So if you'd like, when you see this screen change to this... Then uh, although it's still a picture of the Mando, <laughs> when you see the picture change, we're off a of spoiler talk on the Mando, yeah. probably. Mm-hmm. When it's not the Mandalorian, never picture, a guarantee though. We could jump back to it at any second. Yeah, never a guarantee. Never a guarantee. It's a mystery. All right. Well, you guys want to jump into this episode? Let's jump yeah, in. Let's you got some notes, there. Dustin? I do have some notes. Sweet. Oh, we took notes this time. Yeah. Oh man, there's so much in this episode. I could have written a lot of notes. A whole way book. more. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll just start off right off right off the bat. Uh, we start right where we <clears throat> left off, actually, like a few seconds before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because they show the the whole, the scene of the the baby, baby Yoda waking up, and man, that thing is still adorable every yeah. time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just can't get over it. It's just like <laughs> right. that thing is so cute. Even when he hops out of the thing, it's great. 
yeah. goes up to the <laughs> the little shifter knob. <laughs> yep. Yes. And but uh start starting with that too, it was um a great device, plot device even for mm-hmm. the show. Yep. And how it calls back to that. It's a small little thing. Yep. It's unscrewing the thing. That's not a toy. And puts him away. Yes. Right. But then it comes back later and reminds him of Big yep. Yoda. And, and at that point, that's actually the point where he makes a decision. Yep. Yeah. It's the beginning and it's the middle and it's the end of the show. Yeah. This one. That, the that whole thing. Yep. It really does. Yeah. yeah. You're right. How that Three really points. summed up the episode. Yeah. Written. Yeah. This had written by John Favreau. Some of the episodes were written by John and other people. This one was written by John Favreau. That may have yep. been a director's choice to put that little bit in there and really... But it was I, yeah, ingenious that, writing. I agree. Mm-hmm. I'm <laughs> curious as to... I, I'd like to know what all is whose decisions in this show because right. John Favreau is the one who came up with the whole story as far as like the arc and stuff like that. But then um, Dave Filoni is also overseeing and helping with all the stuff. Right. So, But then the directors are different directors. So how much say do they have? Yeah. Is it just shot choices? Is it how the... The story progresses within that episode. Yeah, yeah that they know a beginning and an end. Right, but uh, I, that's what I want to know. It's, it's mm-hmm. interesting to think about all that because there's so many different directors, yeah. and you're like, who do I give credit to? Because right. it's yeah, all exactly. so good. They're but it's a collaboration, and yeah. they're able to work on it together. <laughs> all different kinds of people work on it together and do a fantastic job. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's probably like you know they're given the whole vision, and yeah. they know like they have guidelines. That's so true. it doesn't just like. You know, it's on one track and then just completely strays off into a like left field. Yep, because they have right. somebody left field. Yeah, <laughs> right field, <laughs> right field. We know our rights and our left. So for their viewing, except it. they're reverse, but, but oh, uh, stage left. left. I think stage they still right. know. That, I think they still know on the camera that that's your left arm. <laughs> <laughs> that's so not yes. your left arm. <laughs> What's that? We could always flip the image. You know. Good. That's true. Yep. Then they'd be reading. Oh goodness! I probably will That'd do that in the editing now. I'm right. gonna, you're going to see that now right. in the editing. It's going to reverse. <laughs> reverse. Oh my hey, Yeah, because. Oh, well, but I mean that would be backwards. Oh. You can always <laughs> just leave that. Leave that no, as it, is. You though. can no, it would work. Right. <laughs> Production value is no, really tricky. Because if you flip it, that's all <laughs> up backwards. <laughs> oh, okay. magic! We're gonna have to see all about right. that, Nick. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to see about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No. So. Um, what were we talking about? Now? No, we the cohesion about- of the show. Oh yeah, and so, how Dave Filoni and yeah. and how they're uh, all on the Favreau same seem to be really driving it really well. Yeah. It's a good example of you can have different directors work on the same project, but you just need somebody overseeing the whole uh, whole <laughs> yep. arc and it's overseeing like <clears throat> the whole creative side of things of where it needs to go. But you need to know the beginning, middle, and end. Yeah. So I think this is a great example of that and. Possibly how it should have been. <laughs> I see right. where you're going with this, right? But from the beginning. I don't want to kind of cause any conflict. Historically just, speaking, right. the the latest trilogy has been argued that there wasn't an overall, and they've said as much that there right. wasn't an overall vision, beginning, middle, and end. Yeah. With the Force Awakens, they're both they're all kind of their own individual films, and it's in some ways, yeah, it feels that way. There's some continuation, right. but it seems yeah. like there wasn't with the characters, some, really, yeah, you know. arguably. So maybe we'll come back. to and that. And there could have been some things that changed for the movies. Right. You know, they could have had a beginning, middle, and end, but with you know characters not being able to be for the, in the last one. You know, like um, what's her name, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie Fisher. Wow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Space. <Wow. Yeah. laughs> yes. Mary Poppins herself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. Oh, man. I, mean, I shouldn't have said oh, that. Man. No, but uh, <laughs> Carrie Fisher, with her passing, um, yeah, maybe they had to change things yeah. up. Uh, right. That's a possibility. But it just doesn't... From what we, we've we seen, it just doesn't seem like there was a lot of cohesion yeah. between the two. Right. But that's a whole other topic for all. But the Mandalorian day. definitely but has... This right. has cohesion. But, this, yeah. And it's paying off. Yes. Right. Yeah. In I such like, a good way. Go yeah. Ahead. I like in the new the trilogy. It's kind of like all the directors went together and they were putting a puzzle together, but mm-hmm. it was upside down, so mm. they couldn't see the picture. So mm. they had to, you know, force pieces together that didn't really go together. But with this, it's like, you know, you got the picture right. You have there. a beautiful tapestry laid out in front of you, yeah. and you get to pick. <laughs> what colors you want to use exactly. to accent to make it better. Yeah. And they have as much... In your own flair. Because they say the end credits scenes show the 
the imagery. Yeah, yeah. It's laid out there with them yeah. Yeah. so that you can see where things those... go and the imagery that goes along with it and the directors and the actors as they walked in, like, I see what my character's going to exactly. look like. Yeah. yeah, I know what I sh- should be like and the direction it just shows. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, for sure. I agree, yeah. So uh, moving on, though, we've got a lot of notes here. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> um, so I picked up right where it left off. There's a lot of unspoken dialogue in this one. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. That's another genius thing about this whole show is... Right. Mandalorian doesn't say that much, yeah. but you get so much, and that kind of goes to the acting mm-hmm. a lot too. Mm-hmm. But but it's a lot of small movements. Just you're looking mm-hmm. at a guy in armor, yeah. just a helmet. You know, there's no but facial expressions. Yeah, but he's full of like emotion. Exactly. Yeah, it's small minor things, but yeah. still like, and even between Yoda, Yoda's not talking. There's no dialogue between right. the two of them, except for well, he says that's not a toy, but. Mm-hmm. But really, it's like, you know, it shows how that can be so powerful, too, in film. And they're not relying on uh, giving you all of the information. Like, they're yeah. not handing it to you to be like, I feel this way about this. You know, yeah, the character's right. not saying that or whatever. It's not so spelled out. It's no. more subtle. Yeah. Like, but, it works. but you yeah. understand exactly what's going yeah. on. What they're saying without them saying words. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, because it progresses and the next, the other thing was we saw, we, Dan noticed was, um, it was a different perspective. I'll let you talk on that one. Yeah. Yeah. The first time when they go back to Karga's place, Grief Karga on whatever world, the first world. Yeah, we're not sure of the planets. Yeah. Yeah. To return the bounty. Uh, he shows up with baby Yoda and they're kind of walking. We've seen that shot in the first episode where mm-hmm. he's going into the, uh, the guild yeah. of all the uh, bounty hunters guild room, whatever that place is. Cantina. Yeah. Anyway, they always have shown it from the Mandalorian's perspective, everything. Yeah. And this is the first time where I noticed they were looking from the baby Yoda's perspective. Yeah. They're actually showing the camera shot from his little basket there, yeah. looking mm-hmm. up at the city, kind of seeing how he reacts to seeing other creatures. When he sees the Empire come out yep. of that, uh, yeah. the client's room, hallway. Yeah. Well, the, yep. yeah, when they're about to go into the building, he noticed, <laughs> he actually notices the stormtroopers. You can kind of see on his face. And a lot of unspoken dialogue there. Yep. Again, his ears go down. Yeah, ears go down, and he kind of makes of a sound like a phrase. Yeah, you know? so that's interesting. And they literally Has had some camera shots before? inside the like little ba- bassinet yeah, thing yeah. or whatever it yeah, is coming right from the basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for his perspective. I yeah. thought that was so a he really sees smart the little thing. eye come out, you know, and ask you know the doorbell mm. or whatever it is, and then the empire come, the soldiers come out, and he's like. Nee. Yeah, yeah. kind of like, has he seen them before? We don't know. We don't know anything about right. Baby Yoda except for what we've yeah. seen in three ep- episodes, really two. We right. know he's force sensitive now, but he hasn't. You know, he, he woke up at the end of the second episode, and mm-hmm. here he is, already yeah. wanting to play with a toy on the ship, yep. just yes, like a child so would, yeah. in the cutest way. And then he's riding the little basket <laughs> through the city. Daddy's pushing him on the yep. stroller, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> through the city. So then he gets into cargo or uh, into the clients back to theirs, kind of where we're at. Well, yeah, and just <laughs> which funny scene, kind of funny thing there was um, whenever the they take him in. The baby Yoda's just floating along, and then one of the stormtroopers grabs <laughs> grabs the thing, and he's like, "Hey, be, Mando says, be careful with that." <laughs> and then yeah. the stormtrooper's response is, "You be careful." Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. good comeback, good man. Comeback. You, you take it easy. <laughs> you oh, that's yeah. What that's oh, what sorry. What did, what did he actually say? Uh, he's be like, careful with that. Or, or no, he, he says, says take it easy. Take with it easy that. with that. Okay. And he's like, "You take it easy. You take it easy." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Okay, good it was one. yeah." It's just but it funny. worked. It was funny. it was kind of cheesy, but it was like it, it yeah, was good. Funny. It was funny it was though. Star Wars, Star Wars Trooper. Yeah, yeah. Stormtroopers are historically not the brightest, right? Yeah, you know, They're yeah, just grunts. <laughs> and yes. and uh, going with the communication and the, the relationship between Yoda and the Mando, um, there's hints along the way of this in this episode, and even kind of in the last one, as to emotional attachments. Yep. With mm-hmm. the Mandalorian and with the Yoda. You know, when he looks, whenever he puts the Yoda back in, even on the ship in the beginning, after telling him it's not a toy, he still looks back at him. Yep. And then the Yoda, you know, looks up and <laughs> yeah. whatever, little baby sounds it's yeah. making. But I thought that was interesting. And it was interesting how it plays. It's small things, but right. they make a point to show you that he's asking questions. You know, he's got this right. going on. So he's he's obviously cares yeah. Yeah. about the baby Yoda, which is surprising for a Mandalorian, it right. seems right. like. There's a lot of surprises in this particular episode. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah. yeah. he he uh, returns the Yoda, right? Or do you have any other baby notes Yoda. about that? Yeah. Oh no, and I well, yeah, yeah, I do, but but go ahead. 
No, just so he gives it to the client. Mm-hmm. Gets a huge reward in that ice yeah. cream maker. Yeah. Tons of best <laughs> Yeah, that color. was a good... Yeah, ice cream maker. Good. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Which is from, what, the original trilogy? Uh, it's been used before. Yeah, it has been yeah. used before. I don't remember yeah, somewhere where it is. I, I think it was uh, episode four. I know they was talked it? about it. Dave Filoni yeah. and... John Favreau yeah. actually talked about okay. that ice cream maker in, in something I watched. I think yep. it was on the making mm-hmm. of The Mandalorian or something like that. Okay. Besides behind the scenes thing or something. Yeah. <laughs> Just another clever callback they didn't have to do. It, it, they could have delivered still... that Beskar in any way and they'd use that. They did that and he did that in Rebels a lot. Filoni is brilliant at that in Rebels. Oh, yeah. These callbacks and in, in the Clone Wars of course. Yeah. But he really nailed it there and then he opens it up with this huge reward. He got one piece for... Getting just to start the job. <laughs> it was just a down payment. Down payment. Yeah, there's yeah. more where this came from. And mm-hmm. then he gets like 20 or more pieces in that thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. A ton of it. We're not even like five minutes into this right, yeah. thing. And there's we're, so we're not much. Even at the, no. the Mandalorian there's so much. screen title. <laughs> That's true. It's still before that. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Wow. Because like right after that, he picks it up and it okay. goes to... You're right. The Mandalorian. Yeah, there was a that ship too that we saw at the beginning that we yep. were both we were all wondering about. Look, you thought it looked like a. It reminded speeder. me of a snow speeder. Yeah, yeah. But I thought it was, a was similar... the the Y wing at first, and then I was like, is that a, or is it the A wing? No, no it was uh, yeah, a little more streamlined. Y wing is is what the yeah. um because those are like the bomber things. But yep. it looked like this. I think those have the same cockpit design. The speed, okay. uh, the, but, snow the snow speeders and the Y yeah. the Y wing have the. You were Same. saying it looked like a um, oh a U wing yeah tr- the troop transport from yeah Rogue from Rogue One, one. it did yeah. look similar to that because I, I think and I think that one has the same cockpit design yeah. too it's, yeah that's what I was looking at that A wing there but yeah but not really well because the cockpit see even on your thing there it looks kind, it look, yeah it looks kind of like, like that Y wing yeah but okay. more like a snow speeder you're right you're, you're right, right. But the, it does kind of look more like a snow speeder the end of the of the the way it came around like a snow speeder, but anyway, that was a leaves, small right? detail yeah. that we noticed, yeah. and again, was a cool, familiar yes. thing to see. Yep. And that's uh, like, throughout all of these episodes. Still, there's just been familiar little things that you notice, and you're like, "This is so Star yeah. Wars." Like, oh yeah. And it's just like, okay, you didn't have to do that. Yep. But since you did, it makes me feel like I'm watching more of the original, right. or, or this feels so much like we're in the world. Because yeah, it's the small things, yeah. That's the small things. That goes to all the people that do the sets. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, create every one of those, all the details in all of the characters, all the side people that maybe don't ever talk, but they're just there. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then we see them in action, a lot of them here mm-hmm. later on in the episode, oh, especially yeah. in the Bounty Hunters Guild room cantina. Yeah. And some stuff goes down. Yeah, so. this... We could break down this whole episode. Like, oh, yeah. scene I did scene. like, though, <clears throat> you start getting a feel for what the Mandalorian is going through after he returns the baby to the client. It's done. And he says, what are you going to do with it? Right? right? Yeah, which is, and then, I think, technically, I think he broke the guild rules. Yep, he did. Well, we're reminded of he, it. Because, he said how uncharacteristic of one of your, one of your reputation. Yeah. Because <laughs> in the guild rules, once the job's done, it's forgotten about. Yeah. And you got your reward and you got your merit. Yeah. And you just take your stuff and leave. Yeah. Which yeah. makes perfect sense. Right. Yeah. You're like, oh, okay. But to hear Werner Herzog say that, you're yeah. like, oh, no, he just crossed right. the line. It kind of was like a line crossing. Yeah. Was, and he's yeah. like kind of reminding him of that. You're like, oh, no, he just made, for the first time in this right. show, he made him mad. Yeah. The client upset or, or at least got him like, hey, what's going on here? Why yeah. are you worried right. about this? Yeah. And then that plays and into. And then he, he, he further insults him and says it's harder to find a Mandalorian than to find the steel. Yeah, kind of. And it's like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So you're saying it's almost an underlying you're good, threat. But you're there, no Mandalorian. You know, it was almost like an underlying yeah. threat there in some yeah. ways. I don't know for sure, but I also right before that, the line <laughs> that one line that he says, speaking of Werner Herzog, when he says such a what was it? Yeah, expensive un- or Expensive bounty for such yeah. a small package. Small for package. Small yeah. package. I don't remember yeah. the exact quote, but he's yeah. It's a, that was a great line. Was you made note of that earlier. Great too. Like, line. It was yeah. so good. I love that line. Yeah. Um. So basically, then after that, he has this turning <laughs> <Wow>. point. <laughs> he has this turning point in the yep. show, and you're like, all right, that's it. Maybe that's the sin. They've got the yeah. Yeah. Yep. They've yeah. got yeah. the baby, and this is the point where oh man, we just fell in love with this baby Yoda, and you're watching if you watched it. Hope you did. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're like, oh my goodness, is this the end of the baby? Right, it could be. Yeah. Maybe that's why I actually thought about it. Maybe that's why we never see Baby Yoda in the future. 
Right. Yeah. You know, and maybe that's the end of it. They take him and they do what they do. And so then yeah, he gets was, back to the ship, though, was, and he has this moment of. Well, not he, he kind of. Oh, he, yeah, before they. Oh, he to goes the, to Cargas. That's right. Grief yeah, Cargas. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. If I, you want to go. Yeah. I might talk about the sin aspect of things, but you already said that, though. Yeah. yeah it's the title of the episode. Yeah. Is the sin. So yeah. you, the whole time you're kind of like, well, what's the sin? Right. And that is what you're saying whenever he, turn, he actually turns in the Yoda after we've already been seeing the emotional attachments mm-hmm. yes. there. Uh, but then after that, is, it's cool. So that's that's one of the sins that we thought it could be. Yeah. And there's another one mm-hmm. where you're like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> is that the sin or is this a sin? Or are they both technically? <laughs> right. But uh, such a good title Sinner. for the episode, though. Yeah. Such a good title. It's, but uh, right after that, though, he takes. I love the the music and the tension in that scene. Yes, because in like half of me is like, is it? Are things about to go down? Right. Here? Yeah. Like I was like, is he gonna like draw or what? In, kind of, you're talking about with the client? Yeah, with yeah, the client. Yeah, because then the soldiers start walking back in. The stormtroopers start yeah, walking yeah. back in. Circling Tensions bu- yeah. building, yeah. and you're like, oh, this... And he actually watches them. Right. You see his helmet watching the, the stormtroopers a bit there, too. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, also the Dr. Pershing guy saying that that's a healthy... They're all yep. excited. It's yeah. kind of creepy how excited they are. Yeah, they are quite yep. excited about that. But how it's healthy and stuff like that. But that was good. And he watched him go away. You know, that yeah. was good. It was just good c- cinematic work there, too, mm-hmm. as well. But yeah, then immediately after that, he takes it. Nothing happens then. Um, he takes it and goes back to the, um, the culvert. The culvert is what we yeah, found out in this they, episode. That's what they call it. Yep. They call that sect or whatever of the Mandalorians a culvert, which is interesting. I, I never looked. At, I didn't look up yeah, that word. I, what that word I means. I think it's just like kind of like where group. they where they're hiding out. Yeah, yeah I maybe. think culvert means like typically a congregation like congregation of some. Land formation, I think. I think yeah. culvert. Look that up. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. But yeah, that was interesting. It was a cool. That's a cool name. Yeah, like, yeah. They, they have cool names in the Mandalorians. It's like, yep. Uh, what was the young ones? The found the foundlings. foundlings. Yeah, yep. the culvert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, they get back and because <laughs> uh, he's taking back all the Beskar, Beskar to their culvert. And uh, it was cool because we actually got to see a lot more of the Mandalorians. Yep. Well, I mean, and we get to talked. see them a lot in this episode. See them up close. Yeah. But we see a lot of yeah. them up close. They have different, you know, colored armor and yep. you know, showing a little bit more. It was really cool. I liked seeing that. Yeah, what did you guys think true. about that? I yeah. thought it was great, yeah. You know, they weren't all uniform. Like, yeah. they all had different they were unique. variations of their mm-hmm. armor. That was really awesome. Yeah, yeah, and got back. And there was some good dialogue between, you know, uh, the Mandalorian and the the lady who the lady of the Mandalorian the, that's in yeah, charge. Yeah, person. But I think yeah, she's but, in charge. It's kind of yeah. a warrior based kind of society, yeah. from what I know from Mandalorian culture. Yeah. So it's basically who's the best fighter is typically the one who's in charge. Yeah, you, and and you fight at least that they explain in the Clone Wars. Yeah, <laughs> you know you can challenge for the right of rule. Okay, and mm-hmm. if you get defeated, then you're not the leader. You basically have to prove that you're the best, yep. and that is the way. <laughs> well, because all the rest of them are hanging and congregating together in that long hallway, right. and she's got her own room at the end yeah. of the hall. Obviously, she's building armor, doing whatever yep. she does. She's, she's melting down role. steel, and mm-hmm. obviously, she has an important role. And the, and then she's also can make amazing armor, yeah, yeah. with the right, oh yeah, equipment. Yeah. So he brings in this crazy ice cream maker full of best car. Yeah, that was a lot slams of slams it down. They're like. <laughs> they're like, if their whoa. eyes could buck out of their heads inside yep. the helmet, they did. Yeah, yeah. they and saw that they were like, sure. "That's awesome." Yes, so, and also, but they, they were also angry about it. Well, the other Mandos walk in. Yeah, uh, well, I think it was more. It just drew their attention because that was a lot of Beskar for one. Right. Thing. Yeah, he completed the job, and his armor was all jacked up too. So they might have been looking at him like, <laughs> oh, "What's oh, going man, on?" Happened to him yeah. in some True. ways. Yeah, but I think it just drew their attention that he actually got it. They probably knew what was going on. Right. And then he got back into the room, and then it was kind of interesting dialogue between them and how sh- she was going to make the sig- his signet, the Mudhorn, the, yep. the creature that he defeated, but he didn't defeat it on his own. Yep. Yeah, so it wasn't an honorable kill. Yeah. And that an enemy helped him to kill it. And, then and yeah, she that, was like, why would an enemy help you? Just That's another indicative <laughs> thing into a warrior-like society. Right. If you're my yeah. enemy, I'm not going to help you. You're not going to help me. Why right. would... And then he says he didn't. The enemy didn't know better, right? He didn't know I was his enemy. He didn't know I was his enemy. Yeah. yeah. So typically, a, a battle is pretty cut and dry. There's a the enemy you're fighting against, and you. Mm-hmm. This one was a, kind of a weird gray area. So I, they were all kind I of think played battling a bit that even more into emotions in some ways. Yeah. Yep. 
uh, and made it seem like, oh, well, maybe he's not my enemy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She asked that question of him. Because we ways. saw his bounty with the blue guy. He goes yep. and gets the blue guy. He didn't have any qualms of, you know, he maybe he liked the guy, maybe he didn't, but it was just the job. It's the yep. job, it's the job. You know, and then yeah. he starts snooping around down to the bottom of the ship, and he's like iced. <laughs> You know, like, well, I'm bringing you in cold. Frozen yeah, in bringing you, I'm bringing you in cold. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> that was such a good line. Yeah, yeah, good and that was really interesting. But then the more surprising thing, not surprising, but cool thing after that was yep. again the men, the Creation warrior-like the society. Yeah. No, well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they go okay. into that? No, they. they there's something else yeah, before that. Yeah. Where the, all the rest of the Mandalorians come in, and there's this big one that comes mm-hmm. in and is kind of questioning the Mandalorian yes. and his status. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, because he sees that the the signet or not signet the uh, the emblem on the Beskar is the Empire. Yep. And obviously, there's some beef with the the Mandalorians and the Empire. Mm-hmm. And I think this guy might be a little bit jealous of his station, so he's kind of calling him out on it, being like, "Who sits at the table with the Empire?" Yep. Yeah. He's a coward. Yep. And then the challenges, other, yeah. And then basically he's challenging him. He's basically calling him out. Yeah. And then he grabs his his helmet. Yep. Which is interesting to think about. He grabs his helmet. It looks like he's going to try to take it off. And then they they fight. But the, yep. the biggest surprise about mm-hmm. that whole thing mm-hmm. is that that was John Favreau. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. What you that think John of that? Favreau? Right. Oh, that was funny. It was I funny. Mean, I obviously, thought, he's going to put himself in the show. I, I'm in some Who ways. I'm like, really? yeah. Oh, yeah. In some ways, I'm like, is that why he got other directors to direct these episodes? Right. <laughs> he didn't so want to direct them. He's can, like, I he want to be. Well, I just want to be the story guy. I don't want to have to direct them all. Right. I still want to yeah. act. <laughs> come yeah. on, guys. Exactly. He's also super busy, so I could see oh, where yeah. it was right. helpful to have yeah. other directors come in. But, yeah. But still, uh, it was so cool because also the c- other cool thing about that I forgot um, was that he voiced. He was the voice of Pre Vizsla yep. in mm-hmm. the Clone Wars. Yep. So, in some ways, could that mean that that Mandalorian <laughs> is possibly a descendant or something mm-hmm. of the Pre Vizsla lineage? That's right? true. Yeah. Same voice, same voice actor. It very I well might be going be. a little it far be, there, yeah. but that could be pretty cool. A good right. callback with Dave yeah. Filoni and stuff like that, yeah. and both of them working on that same series together. That true. would be cool to Our, see that. Other question, big question: Are those the last Mandalorians? Right. Yeah. That, that is interesting because they question. mention what well, they mention in that sequence. How, what happened to the Mandalorians? What they say about that? I forget. Well, the, about the Empire wiping them out, right? Oh, I don't the, think the they purge. said. Did, did they say that? Did they say the well, purge? Yeah, they, the Beskar was from the purge. Did, oh, did he say the purge? I forgot. I think so. I thought he did. Yeah, I think maybe I'm mis- right, mistaken, I mean, yeah. but I think you did though. They, yeah. I, I know they mentioned a purge at some point, but I don't know if it was this episode. It could have been. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't remember. But yeah, obviously, again, there's something that happened between the Empire and the Mandalorians yep. that I don't think has ever been explored. They kind of talk about no. it in Rebels a little yeah. bit. Mm-hmm. I, I took that as that was what they were hinting at. It could the be. The Empire yeah. messed them up. I could see I could see the Empire going after the Mandalorians because they're a big threat. Mm-hmm, right? You know, yeah. if they decided to come against them. Yeah. So that's it's a crazy. good point. Yeah. <laughs> I know that was crazy, but that was awesome seeing that scene. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! And then fighting, we got to see viber blades actually yeah. in use for the yeah. first that was time. Sweet. Proper viber. Oh, they were like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. They were like, <laughs> great sound effects. <laughs> 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 oh, and then also what I was saying about the helmets. He grabbed yeah. the guy's helmet, and apparently, I didn't know this was an actual thing, but that's new lore right here for me. At you least never. in this, at least in this culvert and this part timeline of the Mandalorians and this sect or whatever, you they don't remove their helmet. That's no. like a sign of it's like an honor based thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why that guy was reaching for his helmet yeah, he to take it off. He was trying to yeah. it was dishonoring he him. He was trying to so what if he him. takes off his helmet, he's probably not a proper Mandalorian anymore. Yeah, if somebody, yeah. You're out, somebody can take off your helmet. Yeah. yeah. Or something like, like defend that. himself from somebody taking off his helmet. So I didn't notice that the something first like that. I didn't notice yeah. that the first time, but watching it again it made more sense, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, because why oh, did he? Why did he grab for the? I mean, it happens, thought it was it happened just a good so move. quick. Yeah, it happened so yeah. quick, and then he grabs his vibro blade and starts. Scr- and they were both scratching fighting with vibro blades. Yep. Yep. Like, that was cool. Like little kids fighting, and and it also kind of showed why that chick was in charge in some ways because she was able to defuse the situation yeah. well. That's true. Stating, you know, what was it? The imp- how, yeah. How can uh, when you take on the path of the Mandalore, you're both hunter and prey. 
Yeah. And if somebody chooses this way of life, how how can they be a coward? How can they be a coward? Yeah, yeah basically. Exactly. Yeah, that was it was a good line. It was a good line. <laughs> yeah. Use the situation. A deep lord <laughs> just talking more yeah. and more about the lore. Yeah. The lore. And these they, people in charge want more lore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, then they drop that that great line. This is the way. Yeah, <laughs> they do. And they're like, that was so- everybody's like, this is the way. This is the way. Yeah. It felt kind of like cultish in some ways, but yeah. not really a cult. It's more of like a a pack. It's like type a mentality. Yeah, yeah. A, a code to live by because they're the man. She says the Mandalorian way. She actually yeah. says the Mandalorian way. Yep. Right. And so then it's like you chosen the way of the Mandalorian. Yep. And so it's like yeah, it really is kind of like the way, but. <laughs> it's just so funny. We keep thinking every time. I think the, the there's some Ugandan funny. knuckles. Yeah, memes. you do not know the way. <laughs> the way. Show me the way. <laughs> Show me the way. Thing that came on. So yeah, a little while sure ago. somebody will make a meme. Oh yeah, for be sure. Be a Mandalorian. Be like, <laughs> this is the way. But it was funny how they all repeated it though. Like, <laughs> yeah. like this is our creed. This <laughs> yeah. is our code. This is what we go by. They said it a few times. Yeah. After a couple of different lines. Yeah. 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 Which was interesting because they were and, really hammering it home. Yeah. And it showed their unification. <laughs> Yeah, it really just shows even like, the Mandalorian being unified yeah. with them. We're yep. we're going we're yeah. in this together type situation. Yep. He also made note again. I wanted to point this out. He also made note that he um he made sure that he wanted to reserve enough Beskar for yep. the, the, the foundlings. That's and twice. That's, that's, that's been both a recurring times, yeah. theme. Yep. And that's also another note I made basically in, in reflection because right after the scene when she starts making him his new armor because he gets new armor in this one which is so awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, that so is awesome. Great. Yes. Um, especially when you've seen the armor and you know how cool it is. Yep. It's just awesome. Mm. Um, but then, I wonder if he's going to paint it. I don't know if he's going right, to paint yeah. it like a different color. Mm. I don't know. He looks cool. Well, I mean, and he still needs his signet. Yeah, True. It's going to be a baby Yoda. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Well, I mean, that would imply that he killed it, though. Oh, crud. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> that, yeah. Oh, that took a turn. Oh, man. No, but, but maybe um, what I was going to say, though, is right after yeah. this, then they go back into the forging of the thing, and I thought it's interesting how it parallels even the earlier one when she made armor for him. Yep. He has flashbacks in those sequences, mm-hmm. which is really cool, mm-hmm. and I like how they're doing this over a show yep. and how they're showing a little bit more of what's happening in his yep. past, that flashback sequence, and how they were showing how um, what ha- what's happening to him, and they get even farther in this one, and it kind of looks like his parents are pretty much donezo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he goes down in that yeah. Uh, hideout. Yeah, mm-hmm. which was interesting. A bomb explodes, and we see what type of droids. Uh, yeah. Battle droid. Yeah, yeah battle droids. Is it super battle droid? I think they're a super battle yeah. B B2 battle like droid, that, I think. Yeah. But that yeah. implies that you know, his planet was attacked by the Confederation. Yeah, the Separatist so it's Army. Before it's the droid, pre-Clone the clone, Wars. Or not the clones, but the yeah, droid army. Sorry. Yeah, the droid army. So it's like pre-Clone Wars. Well, it, it's during Or, clone yeah, Wars. it might be during, during the Clone, clone Wars. Wars. Yeah. yeah. Which would fall, fall in the timeline well because yeah. this... I mean, well, how old would that put him? That'd put him almost around... 40, 50? 40 40-ish. 40-ish. Yeah. yeah. I, I, don't like I might believe that. That makes sense. Yeah. 40, mm-hmm. probably. Right, because there was like 20 years in between uh, the Return of the... No, Revenge of the Sith <clears throat> to... Episode 4. Episode 4. Yep. And then there's, I think, five years. So that's 25. And then... And this is five years, so that's 30. Five years after, and then I think. If he was five or six or seven in that yeah. scene yeah. when his parents get... So he'd be, yeah. yeah. So he's probably 30s, late 30s, late 30s 40. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. That makes there. sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So yeah, that's interesting Quick though. Man. That's that's yes. cool how they're tie- that's cool how they're tying together the whole, the whole thing. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. Well, it yeah, it makes you from yeah. Clone Wars all the way to after, you know, the original yeah. trilogy. Yeah. Sorry, what were you gonna say? It makes you like understand him more. Yeah. And what his you know goals are, and I mean we see that in the later on in the episode because it, it going back to his emotional attachment to Baby Yoda. Yeah. He's reminded of himself i think mm-hmm. when he sees baby yoda and he's like you know he wants to look out for him and yeah that's pretty much why he's you know asking questions yeah yeah ties into the whole emotional things that you're seeing yep. with him how he's emotionally tied to the yoda is it because of his experiences and those flashbacks as a kid right. which they show the b2 battle droid 
I think this is, that's what it's called. And it looks like he was a super battle droid, whatever yeah, it's called. Super battle, and it like was that. like, gun, it was extending it's gonna, its arm it's to shoot him, him yep. but we don't but see it, what happens. The, yeah, which I want, I'm like, just tell me what happens. Right. Yeah. Is it, are, is it going to be Mandalorians <clears throat> that save him? And then that's how he becomes a foundling. Is right. he actually from Mandalore? I want to yeah, know that. Right. right. Where is he actually or from? Or is he just a, basically like an adopted Mandalorian yeah. in a lot of ways? Well, what is a foundling? Is a foundling yeah. like kids that, who just, lost their parents well, and then they maybe, turn them into yeah, Mandalorians? Maybe maybe or it the, could just be the next generation <laughs> of Mandalorians. Right. Right. So it just depends. But yeah, foundling I get, the, I get sounds, the feeling they found them. They found, they found him. He didn't yep. have parents. Became. He sees Baby Yoda, like you just said, yep. with by himself Without or parents. herself, yep. the little Baby Yoda. Nobody to watch no parents, over. and it reminds him of himself as a kid and just foundlings in general. Yep. And so <laughs> the turning point. So let's just skip. Right. So he gets back to what yeah. were you going to say? I was just going to say how funny would it be <laughs> or awesome. Would it be if uh, Baby Yoda becomes a foundling and is raised oh, with oh my with force powers yes. yeah. to become a Mandalorian? Oh, wow, Mandalorian Yoda Mandalorian. with force little powers. Little tiny Mandalorian. Oh my! Wow. <laughs> that would be so She's, cool, though. That would he's be. He's got tiny sorry. little guns. Like, <gasps> that just popped in my head, and I just was and like, it's gonna, kind of a funny image, but also awesome at the same time. Yeah, and he could be the oldest Mandalorian ever. Right, in like yeah. nine hundred years. He'd be the best oh one. Have you ever taken off your helmet? Right. That's got a really stink in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> they've Woo. got to have good ventilation and cleaning. Oh, yeah. Inside right. How does he sleep? We were just it's, talking about yeah, that. Yeah. Like, they have neck That's support. A good, it's a good question. It's like, <laughs> how do you sleep in full armor? Right. How do you do? Or do they just not take their helmets off? They just don't Do they sleep. take their armor off? <laughs> I don't like know. I got a pair of boxer briefs under there. <laughs> but I can't take my helmet Mando off. Mando going commando. Man, oh. Oh, man. I don't know. Where are your clothes? <laughs> oh, gosh. There. That took a turn. Wow. Yeah. But So yeah. he gets back to Grief Karga, the bounter, Bounty Hunters Guild. Yep. I don't know, my favorite line so far, which maybe we'll get to it or whatever, but he's like, Mando. Mando. Yeah. Yeah. He's oh, all buddy-buddy with Boisterous. Him. Yep. Yeah, super so excited. Gosh. To see him because he couldn't believe it. Of course, he walks into that cantina. Oh yeah, and he's got like level up, oh, see yeah. Yeah. He's like, sweet shining. I don't like the slow mo walking yeah. in. Yeah, is this helmet Beskar? Yeah, I think so. Is it? Yeah, okay. I think it has to be because it, I mean, it matches the Beskar. Right, yeah. So he got a new chess piece. He got he got a whole new suit, a whole yeah, pauldron. Got, not all of it though. I noticed. I think one of his no. Leg I think they were all. Was it? Oh, I think they were. I think, I think it was older. all. Maybe it was new. All right, because I think she I said a whole, uh, a whole, a whole new, new thing. thing. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, so he's ready. He's all decked out. Walks over. Of course, everybody stares at him. Right. You're like, everybody oh, it is gonna him. draw some eyes. Yeah. Right. Like he was warned about, and then he sits down and. But gr- you, what you were saying about uh, grief cargo though, and how he was like, I that was uh, such a. Carl Weathers, like yep, yep. acting there, yes. like Amando. Right. He's just yeah. like hamming everything up. It's so good, though. I love it. It fits yeah. perfectly with his character. Rocky. Really yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. The exactly. Italian stallion. Yeah. yeah. And how he goes on to explain, and he, I love how he's just carte blanche about things, and he's just like, right. everyone in here hates you. <laughs> yeah. Because you're but a he's legend. Like, he's like, yeah, but he's like legend. laughing. Yeah. yeah. You know? he was you're obs- a legend. And then the Mandalorian was upset because he's like, how many fobs did you give out? Right. Yeah. Because yeah. he had to fight those trans oceans mm-hmm. in the second episode. And, and he's, he's like, the client that he's too. Like, he's like, yeah, he has he's to like client that too. A little personal. He's like, all of them. All and of you're them. like, like I thought it, that would maybe he'd be like, well, you know, I did. There were a few given out, you know, but he was like, all of them, and all they couldn't close the deal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, so yeah. then all of a sudden you realized, you know, everybody was like, "Oh, this yeah, guy is like, the best." Oh, right? Yeah. yeah, they want they want to be there. Everybody yeah. wants to be there because exactly. they want to get the best jobs. They want to be high man on the totem pole. You Cause, know, because <laughs> he's talking to that dude. <laughs> what did he, what did he say? He put him down. Something yeah, about right his before they called oh, yeah, the oh, dust breather. Dust breather. Yeah. Yeah. You had your chance. <laughs> yeah. Get out of no, here. No pucks for you. No pucks for no you. Pucks. I thought they call him pucks. Like, yeah. yeah. Hockey slapstick. Pucks. Yeah, right. <laughs> slapstick. <laughs> A little slapstick comedy yeah. in there. All right. Uh, Get your uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Shoot. So all that meat and potatoes with the Mandalorian in the culvert. Yeah. Yep. Then it gets to grief and he asks him the same thing. He's like, what are they going to do with it? And he's like, that's against the guild right. code. Don't be ask. asking yeah. about that. Yeah. Because he's at first you see the conflict because he's like, I got to get another job. I got to get out of here. Yep. Karga's like, take it easy for yeah, a little while. Relax. This is a big, you, you know, a right, really big, big reward. Job. A yeah. big reward. I you made should, money off this yeah, job. Yeah, he even no, got another he reason. Got you got the best guard. Yeah. He shows some best guard. Yeah. So we were discussing that probably in your notes about yeah. how that's a really good form of 
payment, payment right now. in yeah. this in this world right now that yep. Beskar is kind of like I almost equate it to like gold, yeah, or titanium mm-hmm. or something like that. The precious metal that's really yeah. easily tradable, yep. really valuable because yeah, it can be melted into armor, or yeah, whatever. It can be, I, yeah, I guess I guess just, just armor used as like currency. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wonder if they melt it down and make little discs or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yep. Basically yeah. indestructible, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It it's very, yeah, it's it's tough stuff. In in lore, it can even um, withstand lightsabers. Yeah, mm. that's how powerful it is. Like it can actually deflect lightsabers. Which I mean, that's a that's a good segue into a question. Do you think they'll ever have like Jedi in this show? Hmm. Maybe not I, even Jedi, just like somebody with a lightsaber. I don't know. That would be interesting. I think we talked about that a little <clears throat> bit. We did. But you're right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah no, no, that's you know, a good question. No, 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 yeah. It, I th- I think because of Dave Filoni, I think my answer was before, when, or maybe we were talking about another time, probably before this. Maybe. But um, I think with Dave Filoni, since they've already introduced the Force, I think they're probably going to show someone of some power. I, and it, it could almost be like Ahsoka, you know, right, yeah. or something like that, because obviously Dave Filoni's working on it. I don't know if they'd bring somebody like that in. Right. But it would make sense. She's still alive. Oh, yeah. She's still around, as far as we know, at this time period. Yeah. Unless this is where we're going to introduce, uh, what's his name from Rebels back in? Uh, Ezra. 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 I mean, if that, at him. that point, because Dave Filoni is in it, yeah. yeah. What percentage would you give it? Would you give it above fifty percent that you see a Jedi, or below fifty percent? That's I'm, a pretty high line. I mean, I didn't think there'd be a Baby Yoda with Force powers in the right, first season. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So no. at this point, it's kind of like. It's Anything's all possible. Yeah. yeah, it's true. I, I agree. And then what happens later on in this episode oh my makes me think like right. anything is possible. It's like season oh finale goodness. stuff. Practically yeah, it right felt here. like it. it You're really right. Was. There, so it was epic. like the end of a movie because so far we've got about 32 minutes, 39 minutes, and 37 minutes. So you got about yeah. a traditional hour and 40 minute movie. So in a way, yeah. the way that this episode but, ended up was, yeah. you know, a climactic finale yeah. point. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. At least for that section. So. He goes back to the ship, which I said earlier, yeah. jump the gun. He gets back to the ship, and you can tell he's like, I'm ready to get off world, go far, far away. Mm-hmm. He's and, already trying you know, to forget about it. He's trying to disconnect himself yes. emotionally yep. from, from that bounty. Baby. Yeah. yeah, from the bounty, yeah. Because the bounty did save his life. Yeah. yeah. So he's wrestling with that. And then he looks he's down at the shifter perf- knob. Yeah. We were talking about the three-part yep. Yep. book, the beginning, middle, and end. It was all on that little... It was a turning point for yeah. him because he reaches for it, not thinking about it. Yeah, and then yeah, and then it's just a close up of his face. Oh, that, but that then scene it, was drawn out. Yeah, but yes. it was so well done. Yeah, I mean, and the music, goes, the yeah, music that was going that, on in there. Yeah. There was no talking. There was nothing. Just like a helmet <laughs> reacting yeah. to seeing yeah. that, and you can you can just hear the thoughts. You can <laughs> yeah, hear him processing. Yeah, like, he's emitting oh, emotion. Oh man, what should I do? He's wrestling with it. Yeah, he's emitting emotion with no face. You can't see his face. Yeah, yeah. and it's all body language. It's all bo- and the and and the so it's it's a combination of the music, body language, what's been previously set up with in that, that story. Yep. with that story. Yep, it's just beautiful. With that it's good storytelling right there. <laughs> oh man, fantastic storytelling. Yeah, really. Yeah. And I just love the fact that he's not even consciously thinking about it, goes to reach for it, and then it's yeah. It's triggered. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not triggered in a bad way. Triggered. <laughs> it's triggered. Well, I think the first well, so, thing, but sort of triggered. Yeah. Yeah. He's the triggers his mind that. Oh man. I can't do this. Yeah. Plus yeah. the thing was so cute. I mean, who could do that? Right. <laughs> and I would go back and fight a bunch of stormtroopers for that little. Yep. Cute yeah. Little baby. Yoda. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Show me and the that's way. That's exactly what he does. <laughs> Show me the way. Show, Show me the way. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. Of course, you notice the orange <laughs> tipped finger. I love gloves. He's like, Yeah. He's just like. I want his gloves. <laughs> yeah. I like how they're orange. I, I want like his gloves. That. I don't, I don't mind why, that he's but... wrestling with whether or not to save the, cl- right. the baby or not. <laughs> I don't even want, want to want his show gloves. I just want the gloves. Then we'll, well save the baby. Well, whenever we made our fan films, <laughs> yeah. I loved oh, yeah. picking out like the You're Star the Wars master. looking clothes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. somebody so just yeah. a specific look to Star Wars in a yeah. lot of ways, depending yeah. on what you're looking for. But yeah. but that some I don't know, for me it's just unique. Of like, right. why are the ends of his gloves orange? Right. Oh yeah. Versus the rest of his outfit, yeah, which exactly. is pretty dull colored, and he does have that blue triangle, mm-hmm. which yes. in a lot of ways reminds me of uh, Ezra. Ezra's mm. armor and hmm. stuff was similar. He had a similar looking. Hmm. This is kind of deep cut stuff in a lot right, of ways, yeah. but there's something similar between the Mandalorian's armor. 
And at least that part, that hand guard thing with his yeah. gloves, that reminds me of Ezra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but there's something that I think might be there, maybe. Who knows? But anyway, so what it were you saying, be. though? We were talking about the beginning in that beautifully long, drawn-out scene yeah. where the, you can like hear the wheels turning <laughs> in his head, and yeah. he's just deciding <laughs> and basically coming to the conclusion, I can't leave this this cute little guy behind. Yeah, right. where's the story going to go at that point? And they yeah. could have almost yep. done that flashback sequence there, yeah. honestly, yep. to be yeah. like, that's true. you know, I was him. You know, I was that kid without yep. parents, without anybody to save me, all by my lonesome. Somebody's about to kill me. Yeah. Right. You know, and then was it a Mandalorian but that showed up to save him? That's a huge moment because he is a bounty hunter. Yep. This whole series so far, it's only three episodes. He's a bounty hunter. And then you're like, is he a good one? Is he a bad one? We don't know. He gets a, a big job because he wanted something good. Mm -hmm. He gets this big job, and now this big job is changing his whole life, career yeah. path. Yep. And it comes down to this moment because if he goes back for the baby, he's turning his back on the whole bounty hunter's guild. Yep. He's yep. already questioned it, which is too far. Yep. A man of that mm -hmm. status yeah, shouldn't, pushed it. shouldn't be doing that. So this is a big moment. Well, and, and on top of even turning against the whole Bounty Hunters Guild, yeah, he is also, in a way, turning on his own sect of Mandalorians. Mandalorians. Yeah. So they were hiding double. out there. So, And then that's what also what we were talking about, was the sin turning over the... Yep. Was the sin turning over the Baby Yoda, <laughs> or was the sin turning against basically but almost betraying the guild and the mandalorians yep. not that he necessarily did the mandalorians right. yeah but the but that for going back for the the baby yoda yeah was that the sin <laughs> so it's kind of worked in both ways yeah you're like that mm -hmm. is genius i love that it's so brilliant. good good right because then we can fast forward for the rest of the episode yeah, we'll have to get through no because once that moment happens he goes <laughs> turns everything turns off. the ship off and you're like, oh man, oh, he Terminator man. mode. Yeah, Terminator mode. And then <laughs> right. you see Mando him in full Mando Commando. Mando Commando. Yeah, full reverse bounty hunter. Mm -hmm. Like he's going yeah. back for the bounty that he just brought. Yeah. Except this time he's got this epic armor. Yep. So he just starts owning people. Oh, and at that point, I was like, oh my goodness, oh, I want to oh, see oh, all right, of this. Right before that, though, hang on. Right oh, before yeah. that, because he, he goes up on the tower to do a little bit of reconnaissance yeah, for the building does. and the place, which is smart. Yep. Um, but he does. We noticed, and we actually went back. He was looking. He that showed a cool thing with his helmet. Yeah. He's got yeah. infrared. He can infrared see through. He can the see walls. through walls. Yes, which is awesome. Oh and, yeah. Which does go back to more Mandalorian culture stuff in the Tech? expanded universe. Yeah. Oh. Was their helmets actually can do a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. and that's another reason why they wear their helmets because they enhance. It kind of enhances them in a lot of ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in one of the extended universe uh, shows or movies or no books. Um, they could even see all the way around themselves. Like mm. the Mandalorian oh, like helmet geckos. could actually help them see behind, see in front, see huh. all the way around. So they uh, almost had a 360 view. That. Interesting. I'm just thinking about it, but we mentioned it earlier when we were watching it. Yeah. Is the Iron Man reference and parallels. You're because right. You mentioned it, and we mentioned it, and <laughs> Favreau, of course, started did Iron Man. You're right. Yeah. Probably because he's that. always been obsessed with Mandalorians, and in a way... It, Iron Man, he's got that helmet with all that tech, and yep. he can reach out and yeah. see everything. And he's got this computer that helps him launch all these missiles. Mm -hmm. That's genius. Because he did get the what were they called? The, the oh, weapon, yeah. oh, the, the sweet uh, weapon with the extra Beskar birds. Yeah, singing, whistling birds. Whistling birds. Whistling birds. Yeah. Whistling yeah. birds. Yeah. That was what cool. Is that? Sweet. What is that? When is that yeah. going to come into play? Immediately. And then <laughs> apparently immediately. <laughs> Practically. Oh, but, but... So, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, uh, he got on that rooftop. I got a little off, and it showed that cool thing and his tech that he could also listen in through walls. Yep. Which is really cool. But uh, we noticed that they said... Um, just ex the interesting part there for me, too, was that they said just... Sorry. Extract the necessary material and be done with it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So basically yeah. saying, get what you need from that baby Yoda and then get rid of it. Yeah. So, and then also, but we yeah, actually right put on the that. subtitles. We actually put on the subtitles that said, um, there's a, yeah, there's a part in there where yeah. it like scrambles what they're saying. Yeah. And it literally says like inaudible conversation. Yeah. And then right after that, it says, he didn't want us, he didn't want us to kill it. He had explicit orders 
to bring it back alive. Alive, yeah. And we're just sitting here thinking, like, who, who are they that? talking about? They're talking about somebody. Obviously, you don't know because it's all garbled and you can't understand what they're saying. Yeah, and they did that on purpose. Yeah. But you caught that. Yeah. That was a good catch. Yeah, that was I a didn't good catch. see that. But it was good information right there. Like, what are they What are they trying to extract from this baby Yoda? Yep. 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 There could be two. I have a couple theories. One, they could be trying to extract how this baby Yoda could live for so long, how you, the mm. species of Yoda could live so, for so long. And I think that could even tie into episode nine with the Emperor coming back. Yeah. And I think there might be some clone technology stuff going on in episode nine, mm. especially. But it's also always been a, pl- a thing throughout all Star Wars yeah. is yeah. clones. clones, yeah. But um, I think there could be that or the other side of it is are they trying to extract midichlorians right the force yeah. power yeah. which one is it what is it is there are there memories you guys said even like how they were trying to get stuff out of uh princess leia yeah. you know they were trying to extract In information is it mm. information they're trying to get out of the baby yoda right. So those are those questions thing. what do you guys think i thought that was interesting that made how me think would like these, how would these people need? how would these people have the ability to even extract that, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the, I know. That's why it's like, what is? It? And they had one of those droids again. We noticed the like kind of <laughs> similar, um, the droid, the like torture droid yeah, looking the, thing oh, I can't for Princess Leia. I forget what they're called too. Yeah. yeah, but how would how would they even have the ability to do that unless they were high up in the empires? Yeah. Right. If that's what they're trying to extract they or whatever, the to have that tech. Yeah, the empire's falling apart now, so somebody must right. still have been connected with that in the yeah. empire yeah there's some be able to maybe. yeah maybe or maybe black market yeah. stuff yeah it could be some sort of bigger could be connection a, t- a bigger tie i mean, in, I mean yeah. they're definitely with the is, emperor probably who they're mentioning yeah yeah and yeah. maybe they're tied even higher up right still. yeah exactly. there could be some behind the scenes stuff going on and this could directly tie into episode nine yeah potentially it could potentially but I thought that was interesting, that whole thing. But anyway, oh, we, can keep, we can keep going on unless yeah. you guys have more to talk about that. But No, it was yeah. just crazy because then he's just... He starts favorite. going ham. He yeah. goes ham, yeah. Oh, so yeah that he part. gets to Knocks the, on the door. The, the doorbell Hi. rings. So the thing pops out. It's like, I drew a blinky. But um, <laughs> right before he ends, he grabs it. And it's just like, <laughs> yeah! I twists it off. And it's, I, was, I laughed so hard. I was like, <laughs> what just happened? I, who knows? I, I mean, was like, like, oh, it's got emotions. Oh, guess, no. Yeah. We thought, for me, when I grew up, when I was growing up as a kid, I thought it was just somebody looking through like that yeah, device. Right. I didn't realize yeah, it was like talking through thing. a thing. But apparently it's an actual greeting droid right. thing. <laughs> because, yeah, he grabs it. I and then he's, and he just, gr- the thing, just the droid screams. Right off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but then instantly the guards in the inside knew something was up. Yep. Yeah. Because yep. they instantly come out. Yeah. And they're like, check, check the, the perimeter. perimeter. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then he just and starts. He, and then he the goes people. in a different way, which is smart. He tries <laughs> to draw their path. attention yes. to a different, yeah, different area. <laughs> he's he really very, does. he's very hidden. That's two yeah. or three times he just appeared out of nowhere. They're like, Yo. how do they not he's see Batman. him? There? Yeah, he is Batman. <laughs> They're like literally the worst oh, man. room clearers in Star Wars history. <laughs> yes. So some crazy fight sequences again in this Yo. closed quarters, darkened room. Yo. Batman has yeah. some melee, but he's getting creative with all of his tech. Yep. Then he gets oh, yeah. stuck and in this room. See more of that. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Yep. So he gets to the baby Yoda, and then that Doctor Pershing's like he's about to shoot him, or actually, you can see a big droid thing yeah, the, probe. I think it's whatever. a probe droid. Yeah, that's, that's like about is. to extract baby Yoda's on a little, yeah. you know, yeah. bench, a little mm-hmm. surgery he's bench on, like, or whatever. Table, he's sedated. Yeah, yeah, sedated. So he's like, you know, and then what does Doctor well, Pershing say? He yeah. says, "Yeah, he says he, you know, he wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for me." So I kept him alive. Yeah, yeah I kept him alive. Yeah, he They wanted to dead. kill him. I wanted to keep him alive. But we all thought Dr. Pershing was just as evil as yeah, the Yeah, right. So yeah. It kind of brings into so question what's like, going on with Dr. Pershing here. Right. He's yeah. kind of an unknown. Is there more he, to it? And yeah, maybe not? he's forced to do this. And he yeah. doesn't really want to be there. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And um, I think the only way that Dr. Pershing lived through that experience, though, was basically because he said, don't hurt the baby Yoda. Yeah. Basically. And oh, the Because I think, he tried to protect. Yeah. 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 So I think the only way that Dr. Virgin lived was because he kept Baby Yoda alive. Yeah. I think otherwise the Mandalorian was like, are you trying to hurt this kid? You're done. Son. Yeah, exactly. You're going out of this world. Yeah. But it, he did also get shot in the, the best guy. Yeah. That scene. New, right before yep. he got hit in the arm. I was like, oh, nice. Yep. And then yeah. he shoots the, the droid, which is awesome because I don't like those droids because 
Yeah. They freaked you out nobody, as a kid. Nobody likes those droids. watched that with Princess Leia when she was yeah, freaked she's out. You remember that? She's like, oh, You're my like, goodness. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> just takes it's got out. a needle on Almost it. drops yeah. on the baby. Oh, man. Like, Careful, guys. Right? It's the table. Yeah. And we're like, the spark's oh, man. Just like, yeah. too close. <laughs> Settle you, down. You also mentioned right before that, too, the scene where uh, he takes him out, but then the framing is in the bottom right, and he shoots the guy on the ground just to make sure he takes him out. That was good framing. It's Yeah. Close, but he close used combat his, takedown. He used his like grappling hook thing. That was cool. Yeah. He uses his flamethrower. Oh, yeah. Roast the guy. His, man. Well, then he gets the baby Yoda. Yeah, and that's and when he's, he's trying to leave. And then he's trying to leave with one arm. He's got this yep. football, football grasp on the baby Yoda. <laughs> and he's like single arm, you destroying know, everything. destroying people Everybody. and shooting everything and yep. dodging. And some of the stormtroopers are still bad shots. Yeah. Yep. Obviously. Yeah. Always. But it was dark. So one we'll almost got that. the Yoda, though. That one scene yep. right when he walks mm-hmm. out, it's like shoots and he spins and it's like, out. Shoo, yeah. And then he takes him out and then does the flame. Crispy critters, the. <laughs> yep. yep. The stormtrooper, and then Nick says he's now a... <laughs> now he's a death trooper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's, actually, he... that's in the EU, isn't it? The extended yeah, universe. Troopers, death yeah. troopers, because they were... Or no. What... It's Rogue One. That's Rogue, yeah, Rogue One. One. Sorry, what yeah. am I saying? And Rebels. Yeah, death troopers. Yeah, yeah because they turn black. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they go black. black. He's black. now a death trooper. And he's he upgraded. Double voice. Yeah, oh, double pump. I was thinking oh, of the upgrades. EU when they had like <laughs> they had zombie stormtroopers oh. in one of the EU. Oh, really? books. I thought you were talking yeah, about that. Cool. But that makes more sense. Death right, troopers. Yeah. So he gets trapped in this anyway, room, he, surrounded by a bunch yep, of guards, four and we're like, yeah. "How's he getting out of this yeah. one? He's up against it with the baby. Yep, yep. this isn't gonna go well. So you're like, maybe he's gonna lose it." I thought maybe the client would actually walk in at that point. I right, so yeah. I thought yeah. there was going to be so more of like a standoff like yeah. situation. Somebody might help him out in that situation. Yeah, but he sets he do? down the yep. baby Yoda and, what's he? and he just releases the whistling birds. Yeah. yeah. And we yeah. find out what, what they do. Well, that's what yeah. they do. They just like destroy it. It's like yeah. uh, Yandu from Guardians yep. of the Galaxy yep. with his little arrow thing. Yeah, that's true. And actually Iron Man... Doesn't he have something like that in Iron He's Man? He's got oh, all yeah, kinds he does. of in the Remember? in the first in one. In the first one, he shoots he, that little wrist rocket oh thing. Yep, he targets it, the uh, it hits the tank, right? It it he it hits the tank, but then, then there's goes, also the one where they're hiding behind a bunch of civilians yeah. and it targets each one of them. <laughs> and he takes them all out. Oh yep. man. Yep. So even Iron Man again, wow. John Favreau. This is Iron we Man see you, John Favreau. Favreau. Yeah. yeah, we see We see you. Your ideas. <laughs> that was genius. That was cool. I didn't. I didn't think they would come into play right in the, the right. That episode. Yeah. I thought it was going to yeah. be a callback later, but I, yeah. it was genius how they did it. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was cool. So fast forward, he gets out of there with the baby. We're yep. like, cool. So he's walking through the village, and then Everybody's we get back got, to the cantina, yep. and you see all the bounty hunters, and all of a sudden, at the same time, <laughs> yep. all their <laughs> fobs are going <laughs> off. Oh, and you're like, was so oh. cool. you're like this is an epic like season finale yeah, moment. Right. And even grief it picks yeah. up his, and he's like. And I like that though, but even on his face, it almost showed like on his face, it almost showed a little bit of disappointment. Yeah, like he knew what happened. Yeah. He was basically like, "Ah, oh, you did it, Mando. You, you did shouldn't it, have Mando. done it. You shouldn't yep. have gotten emotional." I could yep. be reading into that too much, but that's what I got out of that. Right. I was like, yeah. he knew. He, as I soon agree. as he saw it, he's like, "I know what's going on." Yeah, which is great. Good directing. Uh, good, good acting. Good acting again. Right. Yeah. So then, of course, he has to try and stay alive through the city because everybody starts right. tracking him. Yep. Yep. And then he and gets, he gets into surrounded. another, yeah, another surrounded situation. This, totally surrounded. this yeah, Western completely. style Mexican standoff. And, in the, and these aren't the just stormtroopers. He is, he's outnumbered at least like thirty to one, thirty, forty to one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah these are highly multi-skilled bounty hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Bounty hunters. That's was, crazy. Like, how is he going to make it out of this one? Yeah. And he, yeah, I mean, yeah, he somewhat does at first. Yeah, yeah. As he just you well, know, grief comes uses up and his surroundings. Yeah, grief comes up and gives him an option. He's like, put the baby down on the speeder, and let's we yeah. get Talk out of here. Out. This is he, your only way. Out. Oh, he says no. He actually says, oh, "I'm yeah. your only hope." I'm yep. your only hope. <laughs> yeah. Another callback. Call back. Back. Like episode four. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! So it's yeah. a trap. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly oh, a trap. Man. Yeah, and that that whole scene was just it was well executed. It was good. Like oh, man. several just, minutes of just. Great Just, fight sequences and boom, shooting. You're dead. Well, boom, you're dead. <laughs> I like that oh, they yeah. don't try to like cut down the action too. It was yeah. like you know, the action went on for a while. It was mm-hmm. good action sequence. It wasn't a lot like of five shooting. And then he does that awesome like flip move into yep. the speeder. Yep. And, the, and he shoots like, and then like rolls. Yeah. I don't even like, know. How he does, does like it. a barrel roll into the thing. He's like, into yep. the, do a barrel like, roll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> and then he um and then he says to the droid, drive. And it won't drive. <laughs> it won't drive, so he points the gun at him. And it like, starts driving. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's and right. it makes a noise. It sounds like it's saying, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and you 
think he's going to get away, and then Grief Karga, because none of the other guys can hit him. the chopper. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Yeah. Get to the ship. Get to the ship. <laughs> I have the baby. I have the baby. No. Get it. No. No. <laughs> oh, That's man. That's clearly what he's Woo. thinking. That's exactly, right. Arnold That's exactly what's going through his head. <laughs> he Arnold thinks Arnold. in Arnold speak. Yeah. That's what he, how he thinks. That's his internal voice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, but that so scene, then the grief cargo awesome. shoots the droid. Oh yeah. man, and you're yeah, like, he's you got to s- get out of there. You almost wondered. You said earlier, you almost wondered if uh, he was going to shoot. Uh, right, if he was going to go, let, let him, him go. go. Yeah, I you? thought for a minute, I'm like, he might just let him go. Yeah, because yeah, you see, like in his face, he's like, you know, he's aiming at him, but it's like, okay, what's he thinking? Is he thinking he's like going to shoot him, or is he just going to like drop the gun? Yeah, you right. Know? Yeah. But I, no, he shoots the droid. Yeah, but he shoots the droid, yeah. stopping him dead in his Which tracks. Is smart, smart move. Yeah, it was yeah. the also, best option. Uh, I um, I thought in that sequence, the first time we watched it was, is he dumb enough to shoot at the Mandalorian? That's what went right, through my yeah. head. I'm like, is he exactly. dumb enough to shoot at him? But he was actually smart and took out the droid. Just yep. Poor droid. Poor droid. <laughs> yeah, droids, poor droid. Many droids have died in this they, episode. They really do. <laughs> yeah. I like no. stopped again. Sweet. Oh, well, that one's still going over there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, we're good. We're good. So go ahead and tell what happens when he gets... So the, the the speeder's down. He's surrounded ah. again, yep. and now he has no escape. And he's literally oh, like, like he's looking yeah. at yeah. the baby Yoda. It, like, what were you saying? You, you're thinking he was like trying to communicate. Yeah, it with was it. a good scene. Uh, no, I think Dan was talking about that a little bit more. But it was like, yeah, it was a really good scene. There, it just kind of took time to breathe. Yeah, it, uh, but he was basically almost looking like I thought he was looking at the Yoda like. I don't see a way out of this, man. Um, oh, no. Actually, before that, we forgot to mention, he pulls out the disintegrator again. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. That was such an... And right Dan actually, stopped. Yeah. If, if you've never seen this movie, this is a good movie. Yeah. Um, Quigley Down Under yep. is a For fantastic For the second time, I was movie. reminded of Quigley Down Under yeah. when he pulls out his big, long rifle yep. and starts disintegrating all the bounty hunters. Right. Just taking them out. And they yeah. have no idea where... Because all you see, there's that shot where it's just... It's the it's barrel of just the, the barrel. gun with the forks yep. or whatever that... that yeah. What is that weapon that, that know, does the zapping think, anyway? Yeah, that's yeah. such a multifaceted <laughs> weapon. It's right, awesome. Yeah. It's like a super a taser. Weapon. Yeah, super it kind of is. <laughs> so he stick. All you see is the barrel of a gun, which is so Western movie. Yep. Yeah. Very, and quickly very, down yeah. under is a great like different kind of Western, but he's got that amazing <laughs> yeah. rifle. He's not necessarily for kids, but <laughs> maybe not right, for kids. Yeah. 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 But but a good movie. It so is. then he starts disintegrating those poor people. So that's the, two episodes those are now. Bounty hunters. Yeah. yeah bounty yeah. hunters. Yeah. Do we want to go into this now? There I was don't something know. that we, we yeah uh, I, yeah we picked up on we picked up on okay this is maybe, it's maybe, a fun we can save we can save, we save it, it. Yeah. okay we'll save yeah. it for the end but but no let's just go into it now because it's, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's yeah, disintegration yeah. so I'm we're curious about disintegration it. what happens though is we notice it's a small thing but we notice that uh huh the, the second episode in the second episode whenever he's shooting well you notice it more than me yeah. so you talk about he it. uh so at the beginning of the second episode he uses this disintegration for the first time and he disintegrates the trend ocean or. Yeah, whatever. Tra- I think yeah. it's a train ocean, I'm pretty sure. And everything's completely disintegrated. Now, later on in that episode, when he's disintegrating the Jawas, there are no... Well, I mean, they disintegrate, but their cloaks fall off. Yeah. And it's almost like begging the question, like, why why did that happen? <laughs> like, do their cloaks have, like, I don't know, Beskar in them? These are the them? things we think Beskar of. Beskar flakes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You noticed that. It was yeah. very observant. It was very I observant. I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah. 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 And then... Kind of going off off of that and yeah. the Jawas. Yeah, the Jawas. We know they're very interesting. They're very interesting. We, yeah. These are the things that. We, this is what <laughs> keeps me up at night. <laughs> so it gives me the black the, lung. The black lung. That's why you have the black lung. Because you're not getting any sleep. Not I'm not getting any sleep. The Jaw- I'm Jaw- really sitting there just like. Think of your next album. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we noticed too that these Jawas are slightly different than the Jawas yep. in episode four. In episode four, wow, this is really nerdy stuff. But it is episode four. They're red, like reddish brown cloaks. Yep. In this one, they're gray cloaks. Yeah. In episode four, and maybe it's a difference in location. Right. Or like like I said, a different sect of Jawas. Of Jawas. Yeah. Because their cloaks are gray in this one, and they have <laughs> red eyes. Yep. Whereas the Jawas in uh, the original episode four, trilogy, the original trilogy yep. are more, they have like reddish brown cloaks, but then they also have gold, like yellowish eyes. Yeah. Oh man. So, yeah, I thought I'd that's watch. deep. This but is the stuff. The reason you notice that though, is because they don't 
leave that stuff to chance in no. this show. Right. They've proven they're pulling back, they're calling back to other things. You don't yeah. think they know what color the eyes were of the Jawas right, in right, episode exactly. four. You don't think they know the color of the cloaks. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so there it's for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In this particular universe, mm-hmm. it happens for a reason. Whether or not that reason comes to fruition in any kind of significant way, they're doing it to show that probably that they're different because they are. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I like that. But yeah, yeah I just too. I thought it was interesting because I was like, <laughs> they are Jawas, but they're not the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. such a small thing, but that's another thing we love about this show. It's giving hardcore Star Wars fans and just whatever Star Wars fans, if you're a Star Wars yeah. fan at all, um, the little details are the fun things to pick out in Star Wars. Yeah, this is sure. such a small Seriously. thing, but it's so fun right. and it just makes you happy. <laughs> I'm yep. just like, that's cool. They took the time. They yes. they put the details in there that matter. Yeah, that don't, but they do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's fun. It's just a fun thing to do. But yeah. So anyway, but back to the actual story and the plot of what was going on. He uses yep. that disintegrator gun. Yeah, fantastic. So mm. western. The yep. whole sequence again is very western. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, but awesome. So well done. Quickly down under. And Karga mentions that's an impressive weapon you have there, yeah, Mandalorian. I like that he said that. I like they that he really said that. call that out because yeah, it yeah. really is. What I mean, what do we know it can do so far? Basically, it can disintegrate people. Yep. Yeah, and it's got an, it's electro staff weapon too that can electrocute from giant <laughs> creatures right down to <laughs> small beings. Yep. Yeah, right. You know, it's just that is an impressive and a very good melee weapon. It's very it's very versatile. Yeah, oh yeah, versatile weapon, which is awesome. Plus, he's still got his blaster on his side. That guy's like. The Mandalorian is just equipped he's just, for almost he's every a tank. situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's ready to go. That's part of what the Mandalorian culture, though. They're ready for any yeah. situation. Yeah. I love it. And they're equipped to do anything. So he's mm-hmm. pretty much down and out for the count, though, for the yep. millionth time. They have that scene where he almost... <laughs> looking at the baby Yoda. For me, Yoda. it's almost like, I don't know how we're going to get out of this, man. You know, he's looking <laughs> yeah. at the baby Yoda, and they're almost like accepting defeat in some ways. Not really. Mm-hmm. But I think he's trying to think of a way out, but he's kind of... He's like, the only option of that one might be to give the baby back. He's like, sorry, dude. You know. Yeah. I gotta give you back because I'm. I don't know if they would have let him though. <laughs> they yeah, I mean, just... he might have just tried to get away or get the baby away somehow. But anyway, right in that moment where it seems like he's done for, pause, the craziest thing pause for effect. <laughs> pause yeah. for effect. The all, all the whole the man- oh, yeah. showed up. Yeah, oh. rockets it was start great. shooting. Yeah, lasers yeah. start blasting. Oh, the, oh, it's man. like a season finale yeah. or movie quality. It's like fireworks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoosh. Yeah, it was just like one guy blows oh, up. Man. Yep. Then, then you just start just, seeing yeah that scene with all fly them, everywhere. They all have jetpacks. They're flying yeah. around. Just they're not and even he, scared. No, either no. they're just walking they're just through, like, taking people out. Yeah. Boom, and the, boom, and, and, yeah. to, and to like show that they're like they're fighting bounty hunters. Yeah, like, they're not just like yeah. average Joes. Right. Yeah. Like, no, these are Mandalorians. <laughs> oh, okay, coming in <laughs> okay. And, that are taking out <laughs> uh, bounty hunters. Yeah. Uh, just like like it's nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah, so impressive. It, it was. was so cool. It really was. Good shots of them landing on rooftops. Remind me of the Clone Wars. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's really the only other besides the besides episode you know five and six with the uh, yeah. Uh, Jang or not Jango Boba, Boba Fett. Fett. Yeah, but it's Boba so Fett. well done, so cool. It was so awesome. You the whole time I was just like, <laughs> what? Right. Was just like yeah. "This is awesome! I've never seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> I love it." Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the and then John Favreau shows up. Yeah, yep. And it's basically like owning everybody with this huge gun. It's like that was sweet. He's like a tank. Oh, he was a tank. Yeah, a tank. But I like the fact again that that they use the line. He's like, we're gonna have to move the culvert. Yep. Basically, is what he said, right? Yeah. yeah. To, to John, John Favreau. Favreau's character, and then John Favreau's like, it is. What this is, is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Which I thought again, that's that's that line is basically signaling we're in this together. I yep. almost feel like that is saying like we're in this together, man. Mm-hmm. You know, if you made this decision and you believe this strongly in this. We're with you. Yep. We're with you, we're, man. We're going to stand by you. We're going to stand by you. And if it's to further the the way of the Mandalorian and the Mandalorian culture and this culvert, yep. then again, we're with you. And we will go to the, the links that we need to go to to keep each other alive and to keep each other together, even if we have to move the yep. whole culvert and everything that we've built in this area. So I thought that was really good. Yeah, uh, it, it really was kind of was. funny though because you were almost like, "Wow, that was a pretty big turnaround." Right, exactly. <laughs> he was trying to oh, so he honor him, him coward. <laughs> yeah, earlier, but now he's like, "Yeah, yeah, you're." Cool, I, almost, man. I wonder if he almost respects him more because again, well, he just took out a bunch of uh, 
uh, stormtroopers and empire right, people yeah. and took something away from was, the empire. Really. So I think they he hurt, respected him. What he did. He respected yeah. him even more because of that. Yeah. You know, he's like, because he was saying how he was dishonorable by sitting right. with, at the table. He was with, a coward. With empires. With, with the empire. With our the enemies. Empire. Yeah. So yeah. I, that was that was interesting. It was almost like, oh, that's an interesting. But he respects him more for it. Which yeah. I like that. I like exactly. that dynamic. That was really cool. Cool just to see more Mandalorians, man. Right. I didn't again. And they I actually was like, do stuff. Again, you know? I was like, I did not think we were going to see that many Mandalorians or a fight scene like that in the first season or ever in right. the show. Exactly. Yeah. It, this it's show just, just keeps it's blowing just, my expectations. You know, right? That's why the rating just keeps going up. Instead of other There's things no ceiling. in the Star Wars universe that kind of my expectations are a little underwhelmed. Yeah. This show has <laughs> exceeded all of my expectations, right? yeah. which is crazy to do because I have some pretty big high, high expectations oh, yeah. as a Star Wars fan. <laughs> we know. But yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. But yeah. Okay, so yeah, after all that's over with, he makes his escape while the Mandalorians are still, you know, fighting him. Yeah, we'll hold them or off. Fighting the bounty hunters, yeah. holding them off. And then he gets on the ship, and lo and behold... Grief Karg is there. Yeah. And he's you kind of like, show him, they kind of show him sneaking away. Yeah, they sne- yeah, he sneaks away. But you're right. Earlier. Yeah. He shows up. That was smart. It was a smart move again. Yeah. But anyway, he's like, I didn't want to, what does he say? I didn't want to have it come to this. Yeah. And he's, you know, he got the, he's got the drop on him. Mm-hmm. And obviously the Mandalorian being the Mandalorian, the quick draw that he is, hits the carbonite. Uh, switch For makes it steam. all yeah yeah makes it all smoky with his well I thought it was cool too I thought he was it gonna was, pull out his blaster right but yeah. it was actually his grappling hook yeah which is right holding, on his wrist holding a wee little baby Yoda wee little baby Yoda <laughs> do you think the Mandalorian was afraid of grief Karga in that moment I think if anything he was more afraid of baby Yoda getting yeah there. Mm. I would say that because grief Karga could have shot him in the back yeah easily oh yeah he didn't but, have to make himself <laughs> that's known. the only thing I don't know. Does, does the Mandalorians have armor on the back? You'd think they would, right? They probably I'm, do. I'm sure they but, do. Maybe yeah. it's not as strong. Because he has a cloak. A cape. Doesn't he have yeah. a, cape? Yeah. a cape? Yeah. Maybe so, the cloak yeah. is infused with Beskar. Beskar. Man, that'd be yes. really good stuff. Yeah. Beskar lace, Goes like chain mail, but it's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They have Beskar cloaks. I would imagine they have back armor. I mean, the most of the other <laughs> lore they do, but they don't show that, so... I don't yeah. think he was afraid of him, though, is what I, I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> you just right. through all that, he's like... I can't believe you're doing this. Right. Well, quick yeah. thinking, and, and it was you're gonna get the drop on me in my own ship. Yeah, right. Right. I don't yeah. think so. No. Sorry, and then we continue. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, the smoke fills the room, and he completely misses, which Dan called out. <laughs> yeah. It's it's kind of funny, but it's like, eh, I mean, you know, we could see him from that shot, yeah. but maybe he couldn't see the Mandalorian. I think it was more of a moment yeah. of panic type situation. Yeah. Just because he was like, like uh, the steam, yeah. and he's like, well, ah, yeah. and I think he, I think he guessed which way he dodged. I think yeah. he was trying to guess which way the Mandalorian yeah. dodged. Did he dodge left or dodge right? Mm. I think he thought he dodged right, so he shot a little bit more. Okay, to the right, and, and but like he actually dodged, juke. but he actually yeah. like, ducked back behind. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and then anyway, right after that, yeah, right after that, yeah, there's a pause, and then a shot, and then a distinctive metal sound. Yeah, yes, because they tied into it earlier. Yeah, yep. and. uh yeah, he shot him, but he didn't kill him, obviously. Obviously. The Beskar yeah. was sitting there. Yeah, he hit him right in the Beskar. Yep. Which, right in yeah. the Beskar. <laughs> right in the Beskar. Beskar. Oh, man. Right in the old Beskar bars. Yeah, but that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a little late, guys. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah but, um, sure. It, yeah, it... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it... Uh, you hear you the qu- sound, the ting, it make, yeah, and it makes he falls you question out is the like, ship. Not really questioning. It's like he meant to do that. Yeah. He didn't want well, to kill him. that's kind of a question yeah. I was going to ask you guys, really, is do you think that he did it on purpose? I think he or did. Or do you think that Grief Carter just got lucky? Yeah. I think he did it on purpose because, you know, he know he knows how to aim, obviously. Well, and, he, and, and even earlier in the episode, they show, him, they show him shoot the Stormtrooper in the heart. Right. And, it looked, mm-hmm. and that was right where. So it might have been a trained. Maybe that's, yeah, maybe that's what it was. Shot. But um, I think it's I think it's showing him a little bit of mercy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I hope and, I hope it's yeah, that. Right. I yeah. hope he meant to do it. Yeah, I think that's I'm, I'm a better thinking, story yeah. point than Grief Karga just got lucky. Right. Yep. So yeah. he's kind of spreading the love. the The baby Yoda kept the Mandalorian alive. He's keeping Grief Karga alive yeah. when he could have ended Pretty him much right just there. Saying, I don't want to kill you, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've worked well together for a yeah, long time. Yeah. Keep We're giving good me friends. bounties. Yeah, come on. Keep giving me bounties. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Even though he just ruined grief for right, his yeah. whole existence Pretty in that sure. place. Well, that whole bounty hunter. Well, the Mandalorians are going to have to skedaddle. He'll probably stay there. <laughs> but and, what, I mean, did the man, I'm assuming the Mandalorians won that fight. <laughs> right. So yeah. are there, uh, much, so there might not well, be yeah, bounty I mean, hunters left, left yeah. for the guild? Yeah, you or, see him fighting while he's leaving. Or did they just run away? A lot of bounty hunters could have just ran away. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Went and hid. I'm sure. Yeah. They so there's yeah. a decent amount that might have got away. Stuck but I know in. I've seen some promo material where he's where Grief Karg is next to Nick Nolte's character. Really? I'm pretty sure. So maybe he I'm hoping joins his crew. I'm I think hoping I'm the hoping crew that, expands with yeah. Grief. That, I hope so, too. I almost wonder if this whole first season is him just getting his crew. Yeah. That'd be interesting. It's like the Magnificent he's getting the baby, Seven. He's yeah. getting the baby just, Yoda. Yeah. Picking him up. He's getting the baby Yoda. He gets Grief Karga. He gets Nick Nolte. Mm. He gets um, Cara, Cara Dune. Dune. Yep. You know? Which she still hasn't appeared. I know. I'm surprised no, by that. Yeah. That was an but expectation we talked about. I wanted to see Herzog, and I, I just thought for sure that they would bring the girl... In, but yeah. no, now I have no well, idea. She might not come until the season finale. I think she's well, coming wait, in the next episode. Remember, <laughs> remember the ship? She doesn't. That we she talked doesn't. about when he landed. The yeah. one that looked like a yeah. wire. Yeah. Yeah. Could that have yeah. been it somebody? It also left when he was leaving. Yes, that's true. So it could have been. Yeah, you got to wonder, like, who was that? It could have just literally been a ship, or it could. Yeah, it could have been a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, coincidence. But, yeah, but it was interesting that you, the you timing of that. Yeah, right before. Yeah, but it's crazy. I love oh, the, so all that, the minute details, but what yeah. an epic episode. And, and then the right. end, though, again, they bookend it yeah. with, the, with the little knob. The little knob. Yeah. Because Yoda's reaching for it, and then yeah. the little he, baby Yoda, and then he takes out the knob and drops it to yep, the baby Yoda. Yep, he just... <laughs> and he catches so it. So cute, dude. Yeah. Because it's like such a... Perfect. Cute little baby, super tough guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> Cold exactly. What a dynamic. Yeah, it works dynamic perfectly, duo. though. It's yeah, a odd the, couple. The tough but, guy's got yeah. a soft yeah. spot for the little kid. But now yeah. he, he liked having him on his ship, so now yeah. he is phys- he is with him. Yeah. So now they're kind of on the run. Who knows? You, you would assume. Well, yeah. who knows what could happen now? Yeah, they could go yeah. anywhere. Yeah. But he can't just walk onto a world now. Right, I'm sure they'll he be. just... Maybe. Depending depends, on the, but, yeah. the, the They'll probably be bounty hunters this. after him. Yeah, well. yeah. That's the thing. Be. Most likely, yeah. 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 Wow, well, thanks for wrapping up your reactions and thoughts. Yeah, was right. Yeah. That was only a few minutes, only... but it was worth it because that episode was crazy good. Yeah, we're uh, we're we're pretty. Late. We're gonna move on to the yeah. next yeah, segment here quickly, going. which we called "I Have, I have spoken. spoken." Yeah, oh, an amazing. I keep dropping that thing. <coughs> oh no! Don't look, that. On to don't look at it. Don't look at it. My no. favorite line, really quick, was "This is the way." This is the way. Yeah, I this liked it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it was catchy. an epic line because yeah. it talked about the. It just gave you a little bit of the Mandalorian backstory, kind yeah. of their unification as it progressed. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when he uses it at the end battle with John Favreau's Mandalorian and yeah. him, it is the way we're right. gonna have to move the culvert. So what? Yeah, that that, we're that line together. says so much. Yeah, without saying, without saying much, it right. says yeah. everything. I think for this specific episode, that, that is probably, probably sums the up the episode. Best one right. of the best lines of the whole episode is yep. "This is the way." You know, there's other lines in there that are good, like. <laughs> You take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> you take it easy. You take it easy. Yeah, this yeah. is our famous second segment. I have spoken. Is that yeah. What you said? Yeah. yeah, famous segment. Famous segment. Yeah, first time ever. Right. The other, but, ever. Uh, one of my favorite lines. Well, and that was the probably the best line from the first episode. Was I have spoken. Yeah. And so the far, second, they say. probably the best line. The of most the show quotable. So far. I, I, I would yeah. say that's the most It's my favorite. I but have spoken. <laughs> also, one of the great ones was. Suga! Suga! <laughs> the Jawas, <laughs> once Jawas, again. Yes. That's a good one. Oh my or, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Your Mandalorian sounds like Wookiee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sound like a Wookiee. <laughs> I say it like that, but he's, you know, he spoke in Jawa. Jawanese. Ja- Jawese. You speak that. <laughs> I do speak Jawese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. Oh man, yeah. that's I like I like all the one liners though in this show. There are yeah, a lot yep. of them. Bring you in. I can bring, I can bring you in warm. warm. I can bring you in cold. Yeah, basically you're just. It's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I think a lot of quotable. There's gonna be a lot. There's more just gonna to be become. tons of them. Yeah, I like so the. I did like Herzog's big line. You know, yeah, right. yeah. such a large reward for such a small package. for such a small package. <laughs> How he says everything. Yeah, you can just hear that guy talk. And yeah, right. It'd just be interesting to hear him. That's really yeah. good. Yeah. All right. So the next segment on our queue here. Classical music. Oh yeah, a new Fisher Star Wars video game, game came out. Yeah. If you guys saw episode two of our show, yeah. there was a thing on the floor down here in the wide shot. 
And yeah. it was an Xbox. It was an Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> so downloading, downloading this, this video game. We're not, not, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. <laughs> no, not, sponsor. not yet. No. We're not sponsored by any one of these things. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. So Nick and Dustin have been able to play some Fallen Order, yeah. and it's had a lot of people been talking mm-hmm. about it and have really enjoyed this newest Star Wars video game. Yeah. Oh yeah. Set, but what's the time? When is it set again? Um, it's it's after Order sixty six. Yeah. I'd say. Oh gosh. So it's after episode three, episode before three. episode four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. it's got to be at least like five years. I thought it was five, five years, years, years after. No, yeah. I think it was just about five, oh, five. years yeah, after. Five years, I would say. I thought they said. I forget exactly, yeah. but I think it's yeah. five years after. Yep. The oh, Order okay. sixty six. Yeah. So Darth Vader is Darth Vader. Yeah. And all this sort of stuff. And yep. right now they have all of the Inquisitors going after all the Jedi. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. So this story, yeah, it's interesting. It is. It is. It's interesting. funny how how many Jedi survived, survived Order sixty six. Okay. Yeah. I mean, not all the way for forever. Yeah. Because obviously they're being hunted. Because <laughs> by the original trilogy, you just assume there's like one left, which was yeah. Yoda. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, an Obi Wan in the first. You know. But know. we know even from that though that there's, you know, Kanan. There's... No, Kanan. Not you mean Ezra? Oh, sorry. No, Kanan. Oh, you're talking about oh, after Order 66. Yeah, oh, I mean, I'm talking I mean, about even later Even during on. the Empire yeah. a little yeah. bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean like... I mean like after the original that's trilogy. That's true. I guess episode four, Ezra's still technically alive. Yeah. And yeah. then we yeah. know Ahsoka, but she's not technically a Jedi. But pro- Yoda, and proper Jedi. You're Obi-Wan, right. These were right. trained proper Jedi in a time when Jedi did a certain thing to train to become that. Yeah. yeah. You know, and Luke kind of wasn't a proper Jedi either. Right. You know, exactly. he was trained. Yeah. And by, he but still, he was trained by Yoda, the master. Funny thing I realized the other day, Anakin <clears throat> was trained to be a Jedi way younger than Luke was ever trained to be a Jedi. I know, right? <laughs> That's true. That's and Anakin turned to the dark side, but Luke, yep. Luke did Luke not. almost did. Almost did. Almost but he did. chose the, pa- the, the path of the Jedi. The yes. path of the Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> You're so anyway, best Alec and I've been enjoying the game so far yeah. a lot. It's okay. kind of brutal, as it's in like the fighting brutal. is not easy. Like it's you, not. they've it's set up the game to not be a walkthrough. No, you can Literally. do that, but it is kind of punishing if you don't. Yep. If you don't know how to do like take care of yep. like fight in this, you game. literally have you have to like master combat in some in ways. This game depending on what it depending is, depending on fight what different you're between fighting. your enemies. Yeah. But it's kind of set up. A, it's open. It's not open world, but it's, it's like more linear. Linear, but it's world. also discoverable things yeah. on world. You can backtrack and the story's whatnot. good so far. I haven't yeah. beat the game. It's I'm like it, it, the gameplay is like Dark Souls, like that, that kind of punishing. Gameplay, yeah, hmm. like you die, a lot of, you have to go back to wherever you save. Yeah, and hopefully it was recent. I heard there was a uh, help if you like meditate or something. Yeah, yep. so that's what the save the temporary save saves. Are, but can you are, do yeah. that at other points but, along but the way? But the only yeah. thing about that, okay. so you, there's like these uh, meditate spots, basically what they yep. call them, or why? Okay, is that what it's, called? it's meditation. Okay, that, that'll sa- that'll help you versus the other it, big save well, points, right? Or no? no that, that's those, save, are those, those are the save are points. points. Yeah. If you just go there and meditate, but then you also <laughs> have a function to rest, right? Oh, yep. And whenever you rest, it refills your health bar thing that you or that you can take. But the the biggest thing about that though is that it also resets all of the enemies. Yeah. Oh. Which is crazy because so you just got through and defeated all of these people. You and if you go back to rest and heal up, you got to fight all those same people again yep. to get past. Oh, man. And hopefully so, you don't get hit as much. So you yeah. have to be oh, strategic yeah. on how you yeah. get through certain parts because so it might not be- you're like I'm I only have one health left. But I don't want to fight all these people again. It might I'm be worth take my taking a yeah. risk on yeah. one health. Yeah. Ah. So and I mean, that's I'm, kind of the combat. Setup I'm only playing it. the game on Jedi Knight. I yeah, think me too. there's there's like four levels. You're there's on like the, story mode, which is just yeah, very just basic. the story it's mode. It's very easy. easy. It's supposed to be very easy. Yeah, yeah. Jedi Knight, which is kind of normal mode, I guess. Um, yeah. I think the next ones are Jedi Master. Yeah. And then the last one is Grandmaster. Grandmaster. <laughs> and it literally just gets harder as you go down. And I can't wow. even imagine playing this game on Grandmaster. Uh, there, I don't know. If the, you'd have I to be die perfect. so much as it is. You'd have and to, it's like, how do you even play higher than this difficulty? I was like, I thought wow. it was okay a video game. So right? I stink. I am <laughs> just terrible. bad. Yeah. Just, wow. Really bad. It's a lot of, you really have to counter a lot of things yep. and know how to fight different. Yep. In different situations. Well, once just, you get that, it's not as bad. Right. And once you progress a little bit more in the story, you get more <clears throat> abilities that help you with enemies. Yeah. Cool. But it's still but yeah, very some, challenging. There's some spots 
Like, there's, like, normal enemies. Yeah. Somewhat, like, half a step higher enemies. Then there's, like, mini bosses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, like, <laughs> major bosses. Yeah. But, like, so, there's some parts in this game, they just throw, like, <laughs> ten people at yeah, you at you're once. Like, and you're like, how do you do this? <laughs> and then, again, you have to get kind of strategic on how you yeah. uh, you take them out. You're like, who do I take out first? And, okay. What's going to be the best way to take out this yeah. crowd? Wow. And, Literally. Cool. So it's a lot of strategic playing. I've yeah. heard of people getting frustrated and, like, oh, ra yeah. rage quitting and yeah. throwing I, the remote. I almost yeah. did the first day I played it. I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I And some of it, I feel... <laughs> Star it's Lucasfilm is like you guys want a Star Wars game because there's been some slight disappointment over the last couple of the Star Wars iteration yeah various right. games but they're like you guys want a video game more, we'll give yeah. you something tough that's we'll more give EA you than it yeah, is yeah but this yeah. is a different this is a different well game. this is still, still EA because yeah. <laughs> okay. EA still I think owns the rights to yeah. all the Star Wars games yeah. right now oh, yeah. but this is Respawn which Respawn, is a yeah, who yeah, did vision uh, Titanfall of, they did it pretty much and they also did the um, <laughs> Apex Legend yeah that's one Apex yeah. the, and that was <laughs> and like an overnight called? success just kind of came out of nowhere oh, okay and people love it super huge I like that game a lot. And and so all of their games so far have been successes. It was the wow. Battlefront series that was, because I think they got a little greedy with Star Wars yeah. and okay. they kind of mm. turned off a lot. They're still decent games now, but it just was the way they did it was a little underhand. Yeah. And that felt a lot like of pay fans, to play. A lot of people yeah, pay yeah. to win. Pay, pay to, to win. win. Free yeah. to play. But so this pay isn't to win. like that at all. Yeah. And it's no. just a single story mode, which is fun because yeah. it's just you. You know, you're going. I would like to co-op. That would be super awesome. Oh yeah, but, that'd be great. But yeah, you can go through and the story mode. The story has been pretty good. It's kind of predictable in some ways. Okay. Yep. I'm I'm hoping they throw another curveball in there. Yeah. Uh, but. But it's kind of predictable, but it's still it's still very well done. It's still very Star Wars. You see Saw Gerrera, yeah. you know. Wow. There's there's some characters that you see in this, and you're like, oh sweet, yeah. sweet, oh sugar, <laughs> oh sugar. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so good game. I have yeah, check game. It out. We'll if have you, to keep up on this one. Update us on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. go we'll check you know. it out. I'll try. If you play a lot of video games and have time, I don't have as much time. I'm editing these right. videos, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I do enjoy a good video game, and so does my little. Sun, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little. Mm, so we sun. play a lot of games, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so next uh, we got a little thing here coming out in a couple of weeks, about four weeks. I think I did the math correctly there. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I know a lot of other fans are really excited about this latest. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin's over here like. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm excited about it. I know we're I all we're acting like, like I'm like seconds. I hate these movies. <laughs> no, I don't no. hate these compared movies. Compared to compared to the Mandalorian, <laughs> Dustin was and uh, un most. Star Wars fans, as maybe some of you know, the fandom is a bit fractured on the movie side of things. Yeah. So yeah. The Mandalorian has been a nice breath of fresh air. Yep. Yeah, for, I think for a sure. lot of Star we Wars fans. We can't we're not just saying that out of the blue. If you watch any Star Wars channel across the board, yep. since mm -hmm. the, uh, the Last Jedi came out and uh, the film tr uh, latest trilogy, this is we're saying wrapping up the end of the Skywalker saga. Yep. Which they did say in episode three when that came out. Yeah. Just to, just saying. Oh, yeah. But right. they're saying this is the end of the Skywalker saga once and for all. So there's a lot of loose ends to tie up, which some people are dubious as well, to whether or not they can. What's that? They got rid of most <laughs> of the Skywalkers. Yeah. <laughs> as after, far as right. we know. Yeah, that's true. After episode eight. So Leia I said, and I'm, uh, most people Kylo are pretty... The only ones left. That's true. <laughs> yes. Well, Le oh yeah, Leia herself, yeah. Leia She's and, still there. And Kylo are the only ones left in canon that are... Skywalkers that we know yeah. that are left. Yep. But speaking on anyway, the positive sorry. side, no, I mean I'm pretty excited. I think yeah. I think regardless, all of us are gonna go see it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. At least we'll, once, we'll maybe twice. We're all seeing an opening night. They've sure. got our money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so. I'm anticipating like seeing what they're gonna do with it. Yeah. Like how There's they're a going lot to end of it. questions of, a that lot need to be answered. To yeah. yeah. Exactly. My thoughts are I am going in with not great expectations. I, I'm, no, I'm I'm trying to have lower expectations, so Not hopefully, great. it exceeds those. Yeah, because I just don't know from how the last movie went to this movie how in the world they're going to tie it all up. I mean, yeah, that's why I almost thought this movie needs to be like three hours long because right. We need. Uh, there's so much information they have to cover. Uh, I think I did they're see... just not going to cover a lot of it, which is like, what? Who was Snoke? Who yeah, are Ray's parents? Right. The hard uh, part is if they don't answer some questions, that's when people might be slightly disappointed. disappointed. Yep. The only thing you can compare it to, which is as tough, it's a tough thing to compare it to, is the latest Avengers movie that came out like only six months ago. Yeah. Right. And that, the way that wrapped up 
20 some movies in the most brilliant way ever yeah. that was i mean it was epic that was, epic. Very, that was this is movie. you can maybe compare this to that uh but it's you know it's only the ninth movie in their trilogy their yep. story but it's a lot it's a big it's a big ask but we saw some tv spots there's been some trailers that have shown some things we saw the latest one that came out and they showed some different things maybe we don't want to say it in case it's a spoiler but yeah. it's in the tv spot but yep. i wasn't i i don't have I, TV. i mean if it's in the trailers i don't think it's really a spoiler no yeah but sometimes tv spots go go, they give too much they away too much. in some okay. in yeah, some well, people's yeah. opinions but yeah the trailer trailers i feel like have been pretty <clears throat> pretty uh I don't know what the word is. They're, they always do <laughs> a good trailer. Yeah, Star Wars always does good trailers. I mean, There's some yeah. space horses riding across a star destroyer <laughs> yeah. or whatever that is. Space you see star horse. destroyers back. What's going yeah. on with Palpatine? Yeah, yeah. So Tons many questions. I think that's trailers. why we wonder if any of this Mandalorian stuff could potentially tie into Star Wars. It gets you fired up into the movies, yeah. hooking yeah. things together. Because this is a kind of speculation that got us excited when Episode Seven came out, Force Awakens. Yeah. You're like, I've got a Force Awakens poster around here somewhere. Maybe not. But uh, Maybe not. when The Force Awakens came out, we just were, it just it. reignited <laughs> no, the Star Wars imagination. <laughs> you know, yeah. what does this mean? They would give you one yeah. nugget of one character. Yeah. You're like, what does that mean? Oh, maybe that's Luke Skywalker's son. Oh. Yeah, right. The speculation, speculation was half of the speculation fun. Speculation was so yeah. much fun. Mm-hmm. After the, the Force Awakens. And actually, going <laughs> back to our, just we talked about on last episode, was getting into making the fan films. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. all the reignited Star Wars passion with... Yeah all seeing the new stuff coming that was all around the same time we're like we need to make a star wars fan yeah yeah because that was your excitement too wasn't it It was 2015 yeah Yeah, we made the first one and our film came out our corruption film came or yeah before the force awakens came out before the force yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it kind of got my excitement i always loved star wars (laughs) but it really really took me to the next level after we saw that (laughs) should i say the story of us almost making it into the the paper or into yeah. the news, yeah, the, the like the local news. Yeah. yeah, well, we did make it into the paper, which was yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. but we almost made it on t- air uh, to news. regional, yeah, regional news, news channel, yeah. channel. Because, but the funny thing was, they con they talked to us about, it, they contacted us about it, and they're like, "Oh, we saw your fan film; it was great. You know, it was awesome." And because it was, we were local, and it was Star Wars, and the big movie was coming out. They asked us if you know if we wanted to be on on the air or. So the you media, know, buzz, was media buzz was huge on Star Wars. So, but the only caveat was, if it snows tomorrow, because it, it hadn't snowed in Ga- in uh, Michigan. That <laughs> this this week that we uh, that we came out in the newspaper was the week of Thanksgiving. We made it into that Thanksgiving time yeah. slot, so we got a yeah. lot of buzz. It's <laughs> actually when you guys are watching thing. this, it's about probably thank week of Thanksgiving. So it's yeah. very topical, actually yeah. very timely. Right. But the movie came out in December, and they were con- they were talking to us right at the the premiere right before the premiere of yep. uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Anyway, it was funny because they talked to us about it and they were like, you, you guys want to be on? And we were like, yeah, sure, of course. But the only caveat was it hadn't snowed in this particular area of Michigan, and um, <laughs> which is unique for where we live. Mm-hmm. It usually is already snowed a bunch by the time it hits December 20th, 20th or whatever, 18th. Yeah, it's a big tourist attraction to go skiing yeah. and snowmobile. So it hadn't here. snowed. So the caveat was if it snows tonight or tomorrow, we're going to run that story, which is hilarious for Michigan that they're going to run a story about snow. Right, yeah. And, and instead of our... <laughs> corruption story yes. so it snowed <laughs> and we didn't make it into the news so, no. which is I mean that's I, funny I don't have any hurt feelings about it because I was kind of nervous about that anyway right. but it was just hilarious to us the fact that we got beat out by the snow yeah, <laughs> in <true>. Michigan <laughs> and really Star Wars got beat out by the snow yeah because that that we were just the tie-in to talk about yeah, Star Wars just right, which yeah, is the movie was. that was coming out that weekend yeah. or mm-hmm. whatever which ended up, I'm like, really? The snow <laughs> versus the snow like this movie? The story? <laughs> this movie is the oh biggest movie gosh. to come hit the movie theaters. It was the number one yeah. fastest movie to, you know, a billion dollars in yeah. movie yeah. history. It broke yeah, all the box one. office records. It ended up beating Avatar eventually, didn't it? Didn't it take number one? Oh, no, man. I don't think it actually beat oh, Avatar. There's a difference. This is a domestic release, opening <laughs> yeah. weekend, global box December office. December. It's the global. highest domestic box office of all time. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Of all time, highest domestic I above believe. Endgame, above Infinity. We'll fact check that, but I'm pretty yeah. sure it's the highest yeah. domestic. Highest opening was the highest opening weekend still too. Could have been, but I got beat. Oh, did it? Once uh, a couple oh, of ones yeah. came out. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but and it the, was 200 in million, December. It's still the highest in December as well. 
I think so. Highest grossing film in December. Yeah, I don't think... I think The Last Jedi actually beat it. Oh, did it? Yeah, oh, okay. So. Hmm. But these are records that at the time were like, nobody's ever going to get that much. These records. Then, then, <laughs> then Endgame touch came out. Records. Touch these And I think it was $300 million for Endgame. You take it easy. You was, take it easy. No, you... Wasn't it or two hundred eighty million or something? For it was yeah, weekend. yeah, something like that. You guys remember yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we should anyway, probably wrap this yeah, puppy should, up. Yeah. So we've been talking for like that's long, even half a day. Anymore. So did it stop? No, oh, it's oh, it's recording. Yeah, it's still recording. It's still going. No, we're good. Yeah, we're, we're still good. recording. But we really are people appreciate still you watching guys. this. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you there? <laughs> we definitely appreciate you guys checking yeah. out this show. We've had fun doing it a couple yeah. of times now, and we continue to hope to continue to do it, and we definitely will continue to do it because oh, The yeah. Mandalorian, we're going to be watching that. Yeah. Oh, man. So excited for the next episode, yeah. Chapter 4. Yeah. I don't even know what it's called, oh, yeah. but it's going to be amazing. So if you like this channel, we talk about Star Wars and a lot of other things, mostly Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Give us a little subscribe and a like yeah, on this like video. Subscribe. That helps us out, yeah. and uh, we hope to continue to do this. So Let us know yeah. if there's any other Star Wars-related material or uh, anything else that you guys want us to cover, too, and get our thoughts on. We love we love talking about Star Wars. We love getting your feedback. We love seeing your comments. We've seen all the comments out there. It's mm-hmm. awesome. Good to get some good feedback or bad feedback, whatever you want to do. It's all good. Yeah. Um, and if you have any questions, send us a comment or a message yeah. that way. Yeah. And we'll definitely answer them. Yeah. We yeah. love Star Wars. So <laughs> we love Star Wars. <laughs> Give I Nick have a spoken. <laughs> you have spoken. That's how we end it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You want to end it, oh. Nick? Do we clap or? I this forgot is, how we ended This it. is the end of the episode. <laughs> so we're going to clap. Okay, see you guys next time. See you later. Stay on target. Stay on target. Loosen up. They came from behind. <laughs> 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 no. No. <laughs> Get to the chopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>